by the fig I swear by the fig that there is nobody can debate me and you know when there is somebody he is a his God and then he swear by fig usually this is what happened when you swear you swear by something greater than you you know like when a man he let us say uh, he's a Buddhist like a Japanese so he say he swear by his honor you know Japanese uh, if a man he lose his honor he kill himself honor is a big deal for them he kill himself literally if he do something shameful he himself he take his life so he swear by honor why his honor is not God but he is this is everything the valuable he have so when Allah he swear by fake he's swearing by what for what If you have a question about hadith, you can post like everybody in the chat. You see the YouTube? Are you different from the Christians, the rest of the Christians? So don't make a drama. <clears throat> Any Muhammadan? Why Allah swearing by the fake? It had to have a reason. And the olive. You swear by something greater or greater than a value, your value, your life value. Why a Muslim is swearing, why, why Allah is swear by fig? It's a fig. It's not even a fig tree, it's a fig. Any Muhammadan? <clears throat> Hello? Any Muhammadan? Let us see. This Muslim, he don't, he want to talk to me, but in private. Okay. I see. Usually those who want to talk in private are the one who are suspecting Islam and they don't want to expose their identity, you know. <clears throat> Which I understand. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? Yeah, you know, I like to swear by baklava, not by fig. I mean, I like fig, but I think baklava is worth better than the fig. It's more sweet, you know. <clears throat> Do we have any Muhammadan? هل هناك من مسلم يا هذا؟ أين أنت يا منذر السقار؟ تركنا له رسالة أن يعطينا سكايب كي نتصل به. هل يجرؤ أم أنه طرطور وطرطار؟ Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? You see, look at this. How, how long now this guy is searching for the answer? People, how long he called me? How long ago? Can you believe it that until now he did not find the answer? You know what I mean? He called, uh, you know, we spoke at 12.45 p.m. 
Now it is 12.53 p.m. <clears throat> when you think you will get the answer? Just, just ask yourself a question. When you think, how long is going to take him to find an answer? I mean, this should be easy. You go, okay, when, which Allah, Allah created first? The chicken or the sky, the stars, shouldn't take two minutes. But it's going to take him a century. Who want to bet that he will be able to come to us after 15 minutes with the answer? 15 minutes, 30 minutes. He will not come and answer. He will never come with an answer. The only answer he can come with, he says, to avoid the embarrassment, says, Allah knows best. Allah knows best, brother. The one who's saying, I wish I could show this and share this in, uh, in uh, TikTok, my friend, you can cut short video, cut it and share it. You can cut. Because I know that in TikTok, they don't allow you to have long video, right? Who is a Muslim? I mean, look at them. All the, forget about the guy we ask him to go and find us the answer, right? All of you. Woman mean kumu bi alim, Allahu alam. Qad alamahu ma la yalam. What? Allah he taught the Muslim what he do not know. He taught Muhammad what he don't know. Okay, what Muhammad he know now after Allah taught him? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I am good in a drawing so I will draw Muhammad before he knows and after he knew Allah he is the one who educated Muhammad that's the best education in the world my friend huh look 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 the Quran look Read in the name of Allah who created. Okay, hold on, hold on. The, the funny is in Arabic, it doesn't say, you see, between two brackets, say it says all that exists. Did you notice that the, the sentence doesn't make sense without that uh, bracket? <laughs> because supposedly they continue. So, read in the name of the one who created. He created man from a cloth. Look, but, but this is the knowledge now. A man he's created from a cloth. Hey Muslims, Adam, I thought he was created from dirt. It's a cloth now. And which science approved that a dead blood will become a human being? This is the knowledge of Allah. Allah is teaching Muhammad now. Okay. So he created the man from a dead, thick, congleated cloth, blood, brother. Read in the name of your Lord, the most gracious. Okay, but Muhammad do not know how to read. Is Allah using the wrong word? Hey, Muslims, is your prophet, oh, sorry, your God, Allah, using the wrong word when he said read? So the guy is blind and I say to him, see. In the name of your Lord. And Muhammad says, I'm blind, I cannot see. What I can see, man? What are you talking about? I cannot see. Iqra. Iqra, ya rajul, ya ahmaq. Walam yaqra al-rasul. Waqaalahu ma ana biqari. And Muhammad said, I cannot read. <coughs> Hold on. Zakir Naik is calling. I'm not going to answer. I mean, I, I'm out of towels, man. Just leave me alone. Each time you call me, I have to wipe my screen, my phone, my microphone, my, even my coffee. I have to cover it, man. I don't know even how they can sit next to Zakir Naik. Brother Sitter, get some plans and make it a lie. And I can prove it. Zakarnak, I, I just answered. I did not even answer the phone. How you can speak to me, man? 
simply I add the bril and he deliver me to you. He, okay, the bril he deliver you to me. Okay, what happened now? So Allah said to Muhammad, read, and Muhammad cannot read. So what happened? Exactly. What do you mean exactly? Allah he said to Muhammad, read. Don't Allah know that Muhammad do not know how to read? But the fitter. But they all grip them bread, make him fat, accusate him. Like, what? I'm not asking. I did not make an accusation. I'm saying, is he knowing that Muhammad do not know how to read? Is he doing the same as Jesus in the Bible? He do not know what in the three. Grip them bread. Respect yourself. Like, what the heck? So why Allah saying to the guy who cannot read, read, when the guy do not know how to read? First of all, grip them bread. I will answer you after I search in Google. You could. What, what do you mean? I mean, this is very simple. Good temperance. First of all, there's nothing simple in the Quran. In fact, there's not a single verse in the Quran, say the word simple. What? what, what? There's no single verse in the Quran, say the word simple. Uh, there's, so there's no one verse in the Quran saying the word simple? What does this have to do with me? Because you say this is simple. And this is a lie. Because nothing is written in the Quran, say this is simple. But what the heck? I mean, I'm out of words. Exactly. So you say this, this is simple, and the Quran never said the word simple. So you are lying and fabricating the Quran, and Allah will punish you. No, I'm saying this is simple to explain. I did not say the word simple is in the Quran. May Allah forgive you and may Allah guide you. Is it the Quran says Allah guide not the one who will mislead? So he misled me. So how how you will guide me? Great imprint. Allah is all capable, all knowledgeable. Uh, okay, can Allah have a son? Allah can have a son. But you said to me, all Allah is all capable. Allah is all capable except having a son. <laughs> what a stupid religion. Do we have any Muhammadan? Allah is all capable, right? Are you sure Allah is not all cable? Cable, not able? Capable, huh? Do we have any Muhammadan? هل هناك من محمد هل هناك من محمدي يقرأ القرآن ويقرأ الفنجان ويفسر كما تفسر النسوان هل من مفسر هل من مجيب أم أنه كلام معيب Sorry guys today because our topic mixed with Arabic so I'm speaking little bit in Arabic هل هناك من مجيب يا هذا؟ يا أبا حفص نعم يا أم حفص هل تعلم ما لا أعلم؟ أنا لا أعلم ما تعلمين إنه فقط رب العالمين صدق القرآن الفطين Do we have any Muhammadan? Wanna say something useful for us? Okay now we, our friend is searching for a very simple question, answer. He called me at 12.45. Already we pass 1.02. 17 minutes. And still there is no answer. Very simple question about the Quran. Hmm? He called me, or I called him, at 12.45. And now what is the time? 1.02. Take me. And until now there is no answer. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Maku, Shuku Maku. Hal Hunaka min Mujib. Hal Hunaka min Mujib. Do we have any Muslim here he can answer? If you speak Arabic only, no problem. You can call and you can bring a translator with you, or if you allow me, I will translate what you say. هل هناك من متحدث باللغة العربية يجيب على عجيب القرآن؟ 
وقراءة الفنجان. So we showed you verses where Jesus he knew the future and he can tell you what you hide in your houses. Do Muhammad even know what his God is saying? Don't you think the creation story in the Bible and the Quran both equality dumb? My friend uh, Tom, <clears throat> uh, everything can be dumb if you are smart. And obviously you are very smart. So anything for you will be said is going to be dumb. But let me tell you why what you say is just very dumb. You know, when the Bible speaks about the creation, do you think God really is telling us how he created things? When the verse is speaking about the creation, how God He created. If God want to tell us how He created the eye, the eye of a fly, then we need a book, a huge book, just to speak about the eye alone. So it is you who understand in a dumb way that what is the purpose of this writing is just to make it simple that everything created by God. It's not about details of a creation. This is not about details of creation. If we want to write how God created things, then if we want to just describe how the tree grow, how the tree, how the seed function, we have, you know, there is people who study BHD about one seed, not the plants, all of it, just one seed, just one seed, PhD on it. How many books he have to read and what book he have to write? Just to talk about one seed. So only dumb People think that when the Bible speaks about creation, God is giving us creation details. No, the Bible is telling us that I am the creator. And he is giving us in a very simple way, especially we are talking about he's speaking to people at that time when, I mean, people are very literally dumb. So the explanation is so simple, so short, so easy. God said, let be light light was so if we want to study light how many physicians they study light and they have a mini phd and they spend their life and until now they discover more things about light do we have even full study about light no what light there's many lights there's many uh, many ray there's many waves so so when you try to, uh, to understand the Bible, thinking that the Bible is teaching you science, that means you are a dumb and you are stupid. This is not a book about science. This is a book about God. And God is not teaching us science. He is telling us, I am the creator. But when you decide to be stupid, I mean, you, you can take anything you want in the direction you like. Anything you want. يا مسلمين هل أتيتون بمنذر السقار ومتعة المنشار أم أنه كان ثرثار the, the Bible is not a book of science and I don't follow science to believe in God for a very simple reason because even science is a changeable which means what they believe today they can be debunked tomorrow by the same scientist what they believe in today because the human knowledge is very little so what they knew today it must it might be amazing for you but for tomorrow is going to be a joke and it might contradict and there is many example in history where scientists they say something and later they go against it so science is an experience a man experiencing things happen around him but the same experience even if you experience something true happening now it can be not a true before or even later as an example when we talk about light is the light go through the earth is the same as light when it goes through empty space is it any change when you speak about uh, uh, oxygen is oxygen is the same in a warm earth or is going to be a liquid or a solid in different place, which is oxygen. So, you know, the same thing can change by changing the atmosphere of the experiment. So when a human being, he experiment things, 
in a certain atmosphere he got a result fit with that atmosphere it can be totally different in different place and I'm just talking about science now <clears throat> what happened to this guy all this time now it's already 109 that's mean he passed the 25 minutes searching for the answer very simple question you know in the year 2000 uh, I think 10 uh, I lost my voice you know I, I you know I drink a lot of coffee right I mean I, I, like now I have a big huge cup of Greek strong coffee I don't drink American coffee which it's useless for me I, I don't feel like it's a water for me so in 2010 I think as I remember I lost my voice totally I, I, I can hardly make a sound <clears throat> I hate to go to doctor I never go to hospital actually I hate really hospitals but then because I know I cannot go even talk you know I mean people waiting for me and I cannot go so this is necessary this is not about me now this is about what I do so I decided to go to the hospital I spent a lot of money I have no insurance and it took my blood my weight cough open your mouth x-ray blah 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 and then the doctor he said to me honestly we do not know what's happening your health is like a horse everything is not only good it's perfect so we don't know so I spent all the money for nothing and then I was out of coffee because the coffee grinder broke so now I have to get a coffee grinder to make the you know the the fine coffee like the coffee you you buy in the stores in America they are not the Greek coffee style or I have to order coffee from Amazon so anyway so I was out of coffee for a few days and then my voice is coming back and I notice it is the coffee I'm drinking too much coffee so I stopped drinking coffee for six months my voice gets way better and more nicer <clears throat> so the doctors and their machines and the money I spent it was a lost and a strip not a single one I'm asking do what do you drink did you eat something no nothing it just they put me the blood machine you know x-ray my neck area my throat they put like a telescope or whatever to see what is happening there you know they said there's inflammation but we don't know what is causing it where is your science it was just a stupid coffee I took a break from coffee my voice is coming back so science simply this is my science now I am the one who discover that it was the coffee and I have to give myself a break from coffee so now I have an experiment scientific experiment in my own laboratory which is my throat that you drink too much coffee your throat cannot handle it that's it <clears throat> yeah you never heard of something they can put inside you know like a camera brother they insert in my mouth something have a camera you know and he he show it in the screen do we have any Muhammadan any Muhammadan here <clears throat> you are being doing this for 10 years I'm doing this forever my friend what 10 years 10 years is nothing So some, you know, science, we are not against science as a Christians, but science is not what is presenting to us all the truth. Science might know some of the truth. And scientists every day discover new things, and which mean yesterday they were ignorant, today they are more knowledgeable, but still they are ignorant. So if you think you can take your knowledge from an ignorant, that means you are a fool. Because until now we know nothing about about the universe, absolutely nothing. <clears throat> yeah, I still take coffee, but uh, you know, before I used to drink coffee to the point my lips they turn black. You believe it? My lips 
they turn literally dark you know so this is how much coffee I drink uh, but now I drink like an average of a three big cups of Greek coffee and when I say big I'm, I'm talking about big not the not the Greek you know small ones tiny ones which means each one of them is equal those cups to five cups of a Greek cups you know so five uh, x3 that will be 15 cup of coffee a day now I'm drinking the Greek coffee which if you drink maybe you will have a lot of pain in your stomach and you will not be able to sleep and you know but for me it doesn't do anything really it's just my throat if I drink too much <clears throat> All right, do we have any Mohammedan? Shall we call this guy? I mean, what happened to him? It's already 1.14. That's mean half hour is gone and he could not find the answer. Is that telling you something? Which brand is a great coffee? No, I make my coffee by myself. I buy the beans. I like them very much roasted and I grind them and I make it coffee. I don't buy brands. Would you go to ever to go to modern day debate channel? No. I don't like those channels. You see, first of all, I don't believe in such a debate. So it's five minutes for you, five minutes for me. This is stupid. I don't believe in a debate. It says let us set up let's set up the, the topic. People who want to set up a topic because they don't have knowledge, so they need to go and search in the internet to prepare themselves for that day. So why want to do that? Just make it an article, post it. Those so-called debate are funny and stupid, and there's no point of them because anyone can get away with his lies. A real debate is two people they are engaging together in a conversation, not 10 minutes for you and 10 minutes for me. I don't know who came with this way of debate. Whoever he is, he's a donkey. Literally. You know, when the Greek they sit and the philosopher they sit together to debate, five minutes for you, five minutes for me? What the heck is that? <laughs> what kind of debate this debate is? And they are reading... From now they are reading from from Google. I use Google myself, but to find things faster, reference faster. If I want to use books, I, it won't take me forever to find books. But but debate cannot be based on ten minutes for him, ten minutes for me. That is a stupid because he can say tons of things, and he get away with it because now the ten minute I going to speak of, I can even speak about different topic, ignore all what he said. my friend why i want to go to other channel when i can do it in my channel what is the point do they have zucchini there and we don't have it here why i want to have a person between me and someone else what the point he allow me are you serious why even I want to allow somebody to allow me? <laughs> oh boy. Hey, I'm going to go to your channel. I will allow you to allow me. Okay? All right. So now, please, can you allow me? Oh. What for? If a Muslim, he is live in his channel, I will call him his channel. There's no need for this drama. <clears throat> uh, Arun uh, Roger, are you a Muslim, my friend? Swearing on testes was prevalent in the older days. Even the slaves of Abraham put his hands under his thigh swear so Allah has fig mm. but my friend look look what you just did, say said just to show you that you are not thinking right I don't know if you are a Muslim or not 
when you swear you swear by someone greater than you so when the slaves they did they are swearing by the one is greater than them Allah swearing by the greater of who And this is why I find it that people, when they try to answer me, they have a lack of intellect and intelligence. I don't know if you are being sarcastic or you are saying this is your answer, but this is not an answer for me. This is funny. Dark Lord, answer my comment. What is your comment, Dark Lord? Let me go back. Uh, I don't see Dark Lord comment. <clears throat> Where is your comment, Dark? You know, some people, they say, answer my comment before they post the comment, brother. So I went back 15 minutes. I did not see your comment, Dark Lord. And this guy, he wanted me to answer his comment. Before he make the comment. Shall we call the guy to see if he got the answer? Because it sounds like he would never call me back. What do you think? Do we have any Muhammadan? May they, may they, may they. Hmm. Do we have any brave Muhammadan would like? Let us call this guy to see if he is really ready. I mean, it's already half hour. What happened? Friends. Did you find the answer, my friend? Um, no. But can you give me the references, please, and I can look. There's at no it. reference. I mean, the question is very simple. What reference? Okay, I don't, I don't, I don't know it in, my, in the back of my head. But, no. but, can but, you show no, me but, the but, 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 be honest with me. Were you searching for the last half hour? Yes, I did. Okay, Wallahi and how come you? Okay, Wallahi, you did wonderful. So why and how come you could not get the answer from from Islamic source? um look it's so difficult for this the way the way you sell it as well it's not very clear can you show me the passage okay i will make it i, I, I will it. make it so so simple listen just show me okay then, hold on hold on no 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 I, I know the it's game of show here. me i know the game of show me i go i know the game of show me i will show you but i'm asking let me make it simple which one allah created first the mountains or the stars very simple now saying Show me the context. No, no, no. Show me. No, you I know, I know, I know how the Muslim they play games. So tell me the answer. Give me the answer. I'm waiting for the answer. And then because okay. it doesn't matter what I show you as a Christian. Still, I'm not the okay. Muslim one who can show you your religion, right? It's you who is a okay. Muslim, and you are the one who can show me your religion. I'm... So in your religion, okay. which one Allah created first, the, the the stars or the mountains? Very simple. I don't know that one. Okay. Uh, shall I give you my maybe ten days? <laughs> Can you show me and then I can look at the context? What do you mean, show me, show me? You're a Muslim and you read the Quran. Did your God Allah create how He speak in the Quran or in the Hadith how He created the earth and the heaven? Did He already not? I don't, um, I don't memorize the Quran. Are you aware of that? So you know nothing it. about how Allah created the earth and the heaven? If I read it and look at it, yes, I will, I will know because it will explain. So it when you search for 13 minute, 30 minutes in Google, you are telling me. That in the, your search, nobody mentioned the verses in the Quran about the creation. Look, why do you use the internet, yeah? If you memorize um, the Bible. But you stuff, memorize nothing. Means... But you are the one who Aha, said to me, you go, then. I'm talking there about you, go, you. I'm talking about you. And me, <laughs> myself, I, don't, I do not need to memorize, my friend. I'm not a stupid donkey carry books in my head without understanding. We need to understand the but... books first. So I'm asking you, when you search for 30 minutes, did 
the website you enter in, which is Islamic website, does do they say to you how Allah created the earth and the heaven? Be honest. This is what I'm saying. Sometimes some of the websites mm. can be misleading. So I have to be careful. So Muslim websites are misleading. One? Some websites are misleading, so I have to be no, careful. No, some Muslim website, Muslim website are misleading. That's what you are talking about. Are there are there Muslim websites? I didn't website? say. I didn't say. Are they? Muslim, okay. Are you trying to learn? Are them. you trying to search? Say, are you trying to search your about your Quran, about your God, how we created the earth from a Christian website or from Muslim website? Okay, Christian Prince, if you want to make it easier, yeah, just show me the Quran where, it, and then I can look at it. I want the answer, and then from the answer we will go. You know? You're not gonna get any answer from no, me. I, I, exactly, I exactly, see. exactly. Because you know, if you give me the answer, it's going to be very funny, very stupid of you to do so. So what do you do? You do the same as the other guy. When they ask him, ask Muhammad, what is the spirit? He said he did not answer because Allah, and this is how Muhammad he proved he's a prophet by not answering. So now you are trying to prove to me that you are a Muslim and Islam is a true by not answering which one Allah created first the mountains or the stars <laughs> I don't know but I don't, I don't know that one hmm. what do you know okay Look, can you can you give me something we, you know can you can you tell me something you know very well so we can talk about it as long as you do not know okay so we talk about the oneness of Allah Tawheed against um, Trinity okay your God what uh, you said Tawheed yeah, the oneness of Allah. Yeah. Yeah, but Tawheed does not mean oneness. Tawheed means unification. <laughs> tawheed why? Means why you are laughing? I can open the dictionary right now, and I can show you in front of your eyes. Tawheed does not mean oneness. Means unification. And what does unification mean? Mean if you are one, you cannot unify some. Someone is one. If you are one as a person. Well, exactly. If you are one exactly. as a person. This okay. Exactly. So you cannot unify what is already one. So how you say the word Tawheed to someone he is already one, supposedly? I've told you already, Tawheed means the oneness of Allah. No, Tawheed does not mean, I, you see, do you, <laughs> did you agree with me? Course, did you, did, um, you listen, know, listen, I'm listen. Was, do, you agree, do, you agree, do you agree Muhammad with, do you agree Muhammad with, listen, 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 listen. He didn't even let, he didn't even let him talk. I've seen one of you debate with Muhammad Muhammad Hijab he didn't even let him talk he keep talking 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 I am and the one like who did this. not let him talk let he did talk. not let me talk I just asked him how in the world you didn't say the word inshallah he did not let me talk and he hang up on me you're a liar he hang up on me all more than seven times and did not ask any question not even a single question the only thing I said how come you don't say inshallah is that correct so why are you lying <laughs> Now he run to hide behind Mimi Hijab or run away from me. <laughs> Are you there? I've seen him, but I even let him talk as well. Listen, I, I am calling him. I am calling him. So how I'm not how I am not letting him uh, to talk, and he is the one who hang up on me seven times, and he did not let me ask yeah, any question. Listen, listen, you are just yeah, because you, you are like just a potato talk. like Mimi Hijab, like my talk. friend. You are a potato like Mimi Hijab. Did he allow me to ask questions? You don't have to insult, you know, you don't have to be rude. Oh, he insulted me, he called me bastard. I did not call him bastard. Yeah, but, yeah, but you do that to people. When you talk see, to people, see, there's no see? need to be so I call, I call Muslims, what they do, they call me bastard, filthy, etc. This is not insult, but for now, you, you are saying, I am the one who is insulted. Did I call you bastard? No, but you're saying Muslim women are prostitutes. That's what you did. The women, the Muslim women, she said, the Christian prince. Ah, oh, this is why you are single. You don't marry because women, uh, Christian women, they have AIDS. And this woman, by the way, Mimi Hijab, he played her video. He is a false man. We got him busted. The video is there. She said that Jesus, he played with his mother boobs. So the filthy Mimi he Hijab, the women, the same woman, he played her video. Your Mimi Hijab is well, a scumbag. If she's a if she's a real Muslim, she shouldn't say that because Isa is. Oh, hold on, hold on. So why Mimi Hijab? Why Mimi Hijab copy the video? He don't get upset from a Muslim woman insulting Jesus, and he claims she is young, a, a young girl. She will say Jesus. He play with his mother boobs, and she was talking in a sexual way. What did you say to her to provoke her? Because you do provoke I, people. She, I did not watch the video. I said to her, "Why you kiss the black stone?" That's all. Watch the video. 
kissing the black stone is just yes. it means why you kiss the black stone a very normal question why you kiss the black stone she said so we, so we talk about so we talk listen about listen don't waste my time Islam, we, can, we can we can play the audio my friend we can play it people would die laughing at you and Rimi hijab you muslims are <laughs> you know you muslims have no shame so you took a video of a woman she is saying that jesus you cut the part where she said that jesus is having sex with his mother and she is a muslim woman calling me to defend islam and what do you do you, That's you, you. you hold on you make her a victim and you say christian prince a sexual predator because i said after okay. she, after she shut up after she said that jesus he played with his mother boobs i said in fact it's your prophet he said I can suckle you, suckle me. And then okay, the coward, hold on. And then the coward, he took that part and he started playing to Muslim. See, look what he's saying to a Muslim woman. <laughs> can I can I respond to that, please? You want to respond? Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. I mean that if it is true what you said, that lady said about uh, Jesus uh -huh. playing with his mom with um, uh -huh. his mother's boots, uh -huh. she shouldn't have done it. If she, if it is true, so so why so why so because... why your friend? Hold on. Why your friend did not? He cut the video. Why he play only the part I said suckle me? He's not my fr sorry. Just to clarify, he's not my friend. I just watched his video. You are the one who is mentioning his name. So now you are defending him. You are his lawyer. Why he cut that part where she said Jesus? He play with his mother boots. I didn't see that part. Okay, okay. Where where can I find that part? Okay, hold on. Let, let me find the video and I will play it and you call me back. Is that okay? Yes, yeah, sure, okay. no problem. Okay. There we go. Let us find it. They have no dignity. Let us see. <clears throat> All right, here we go. We got the video. Let me just move where he she called. Is two eyed. And he was comparing him between. Give me a comparing second. between their look, that will make a make sense. But he is not comparing between. Them. Just I will I will look for where the part which or she call. Hold on. Okay, here we go. This is the video. This is when she called me. I will put it in the screen as it is. Listen to it. Uh, Muslim boys. This is as it is without editing the whole video, even be long before she called and long after she called without any editing. Why so now you admitted you, you admitted that Jesus. Flesh okay, so Jesus, so Jesus, Jesus. Okay, so Jesus, Jesus, Adam, Jesus. Okay, so Jesus is not descended from Adam. Is that correct? It's not descended. No, he's he is yes but before he will be okay the quran says uh let me pause the link for you all of you you can have the link hold on give me a second and now you will see the shame of those people you cannot you cannot trust a muslim ever never this is the link the whole video as it is without editing Allah, he sent the word to Mary, and that word became Jesus. Yeah. Is that correct? Yes. So he did not. How is that? <laughs> so, Can you tell me? so this word is coming from Adam or coming from Allah? No, th this word came from Allah. Okay, so he was a word before he became a man. That's why, because you understand, in the beginning, was, was word, and hold, the word okay. became. No, no, no. This is, no, no. According this, to Islam, according to Islam, is, lady, lady, lady. Tahani, Tahani, Tahani. I will tell you this. Listen, you know this verse. Tahani, you know Tahani. Dear, listen, right listen. Right the word, the word. Okay, you just, you just. Notice, you just I'm, I'm calling her. I'm calling her nice. I call her lady. I call her dear. You see, I did not insult her, but then when she starts speaking filthy language about Jesus, she got what she deserved so much so I want sorry but uh, excuse me 
Tahani. I want to. We don't want to jump. We don't want to jump God. because you are jumping to something else. Why you want to jump? You just admitted that Jesus is the Word of God, so He was a Word of God before He became a man. Do, do you agree? Do you agree? Okay, let us say He was a Word from God. Was Adam a Word from God? Was Adam? Was Adam? Was Adam a Word from God? Was Was Adam? Listen. Was Adam? Let us focus in the Word. Let us. Tahani, 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 Tahani. Let us focus. Let us focus in something clear. The Word. Was Adam the Word of God? No. Okay. Was Jesus the Word of God? No. What do you mean no? You just said yes. A second ago Lord, you said that. God. A, sec Lord, just, a second ago just, you said yes. A second, just, a second ago. Just, a second ago honey, what's wrong with you? You said, I asked you just a minute ago, do you, is, it was Jesus the word of God he sent down to Mary? You said yes. Okay, I want to ask you something. No, don't you change. Don't, Arabic, change. Oh, don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Finish it, and we can we can you can ask me whatever you want. So the word of God was Jesus. The Quran says, no, okay, okay, hold, hold, okay. okay. Okay, so he is Jesus. the word of God. Guys, hallelujah. So, wonderful. She said Jesus is the word from God. Okay, was Adam a word from God? You said no. No, yes. Okay, so Jesus was a word from God, Adam was not a word of God. So that's wonderful. So yes, this is me. Yes. Yes. So this is mean Jesus is not the same as Adam because Jesus is the word from God, or you say, or he is a word from God, but Adam is not a word from God. Yes, but so they are not the same. So they are not the same. So now we have so now we have a person, he is a word from God, the other one is not. Why we can how we can make equal Adam to Jesus if one of them is from dust and the other one is word of God. Or a word from God. <laughs> and, oh my God! Okay, he's he when when Jesus was a baby, did he was just like I don't know. Um, before you change the topic, kind of, before you change the just, topic, according according to your Quran, Jesus when he was a baby, he was speaking like a man. So he is a much mature, even he's a baby. So don't go there. You're a prophet. Yes, he waited. Mature, you're a prophet. How, he waited. You, you're a prophet. You you're a prophet. He waited for forty years before he got the maturity of Jesus. No, so Jesus, no, when he was listen, no, according day, to your Quran, yes, day, yes, Muhammad, no, Muhammad, Muhammad. Can Muhammad, you tell me this God? What, what, no, what time, not Okay, what what year Muhammad became a prophet? Is it is it true that it's forty years after he, his, uh, his you know uh, his birth? Is that correct? Forty years. Forty years, yes. Yes. Okay, Jesus is a prophet at, at what date? Is that a, is it true that he is in the first day? This is not this is a miracle way. He ah, so Jesus Bible. is he a said, miracle. Okay, said, thank you very much. No, so said, Jesus is a miracle. Yeah, Muhammad is not a miracle. Jesus, Jesus himself is the word of God. Tahani, Tahani, you are trying God to jump. You are trying to jump. You are trying to jump. I will let you know. I will not. I will not let you jump. Don't stop. Listen. He is the word. You are trying to. You see, guys. No, he did not. See, see, you know, they don't want to. They want to change topic. You know, this is what they do. When they are, they, they are, they go in then, they, like the, the, the demon inside them, make them go crazy. See that this is what they do. This, verse they, in all the they talk Bible, to themselves. Okay. He say, I am a man. Who, where, I am where, a man. Where, who, 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 who said, who said, who, who said, God I am a man? Who, who is the one who said, I am a man? Who? Jesus. Where? In Bible, he said, I am a man. God sent miracles through me. And he said, and me, so and, what, and he said, and he said, and he said, me and the father is one. Just it's wait, one. just wait until you hear your that's, sister. That's it. Just like Muhammad. What Muhammad? Is Muhammad, is Muhammad, is Muhammad and Allah is one? Is Muhammad and Allah is one? Is Muhammad is Allah and Allah is one? No. Okay, so don't go there. Jesus and God is one. That's what he said. Now, we go back. Jesus no, is the word of God. Word, no, word, you're, word, trying word, you're trying to escape the topic. You're trying to, Tahani, 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 Tahani. Don't, 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 don't. don't, 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 don't I, I don't know exactly which minute she said that. This is why we are playing, you know, the video from the beginning she called. But we will, we, I, I hope maybe soon. Don't, don't skip. Don't we jump. We are the three, the Father and tan, the Son tan, tan, and, tan. and Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me, let me ask you. Let me ask you. When Jesus is the Word of God, is the Word of God created? No, it's a word. Okay. A word. Just like I say hi. Okay. Is the Quran, is, is, is the Quran created? No. Okay, so Jesus is the Word of God. He is not a created. From God. Okay, from God. Doesn't matter. From God, from the warehouse, from the White House. No. I don't care. It is a Word of God. It is the Word of God. It's okay. Is it, it, there is a difference between a Word from God and the Word of God for you? Yes. Okay, what is the difference between a Word from God and the Word of God? 
a word from God, that means God speaks a word, and the word is be. Okay, and the word of God, what does that mean? Word, word God? This is a no, new word. No, Bible. I'm not saying the word means. God. No, no, no. I'm saying what the difference between the word from God and the word of God. What the difference? Uh, guys, anyone knows which minute she she mentioned that in the video to avoid playing all the whole thing? Anyone knows? Let me. Uh, there is no subtitle. There is subtitle. Hold on. Maybe we can find. Just to avoid playing the whole thing. <clears throat> I'm just uh, trying to read the subtitle, the Google subtitle. Just wait, man. I, I want to show you. Hold on. I will make you hear it. Don't call. Try and, you don't want me to, to play it, right? Shameful. If anyone remember, it knows exactly. This what, is, this is, listen, listen, listen. Men at that time, even when they work in the field, this is what they wear. However, if this is what will make Jesus naked, and that will not make him go. Here we go. So you see, she just started speaking about Jesus being naked. Jesus in the cross, naked. Here we go. God, yeah, why? How, how, okay. Tell me, how I, I, is God? That's that and mean that Jesus is God because God because and, God should not be in the cross. What? Okay. Do you agree? And guess what? Do you agree? Do you agree? Are you are you saying? Ho 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 ho! Hey, Santa Claus! Santa Claus! Santa Claus! Santa Claus! The honey, the the honey, the honey. No, no. God, your mouth. God, your mouth. As Mary, she got it her vagina. Listen, listen. If Jesus, if Jesus, if Jesus, if Jesus. If no, Jesus, this is, church, this is what church do for you, people. Jesus, he cannot this be God because he was in the cross. You said that, correct? What? Jesus cannot be God because he was in the cross. Yes. Okay. And he so if he is you. not in the so if he is not in the cross, as you said, nobody can crucify him. That back a little bit. What minute? Minute one seventeen. Hold on. One seventeen. One of you saying no, it should go uh, uh, forward. One saying so, go backward. Let us see. One seventeen. Okay, this is one sixteen. Prophet ordering you to give out your books. No, this is not. This is not where. You see what, what you talk about? Why the Bible says women should cover their? Head? No, this is after she finished the conversation. Who is the one who said that? One oh nine. Okay. Let us see. Hold on, hold on. Okay. If, you lips, you if you have lipstick in your lips, can you kiss the black stone? Can you kiss the black stone? Let us go a little bit back. I think we arrived to the place. So, do the Christian believe that God have a son because he have sex with Mary? She said no. So why Allah in the Quran says Allah don't have a girlfriend? If Allah is not a man anyway. Did any of the Christians believe that God have sex with Mary? No. Where Allah He breathed into Mary? Oh, and He breathed into her womb. Really? It says their vagina. <laughs> Where is the womb coming from? <laughs> In order to protect the cult of Islam and the stupidity of Muhammad who created those verses, they start saying things which is crazy. Hey, Annie, what do you want to say to us? I want to say to you, 
Christians、oh. and all the one who listen to me right now. Okay, let me ask you a question. Hold on, hold, hold, hold on, hold on. Be, before, you go, before you go, before you go, before you go, I want to kiss the black stone. Tahani, Tahani. I want to kiss the black stone. Tahani, Tahani, Tahani. I want my sin. I want my sin to be forgiven. Hey, listen, 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 pagan Tahani, pagan, 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 pagan Tahani. I want to kiss the black stone. Can you help me to tell me how I should? Don't you want to hear it? Don't call me. I will make you hear it. To show you that Mimi Hijab is a scumbag, I was asking about the black stone. She said about the Christian kiss the the cross. I said, I want to kiss the black stone to erase my sin. Look what she will say. <laughs> In order to protect the cult of Islam and the stupidity of Muhammad, who created those verses, they start saying things which is crazy. Hey, Annie, what do you want to say to us? I want to say to you, Christians,、oh. and all the one who listen to、yeah. you right now. Okay, let me ask you a question. Hold on, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Be before, before you go, before you go, before you go, I want to kiss the black stone. Tahani, Tahani. I want to kiss the black stone. Tahani, Tahani, Tahani. I want my sin. I want my sin to be forgiven. Hey, listen, 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 pagan Tahani, pagan, 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 pagan Tahani. I want to kiss the black the stone. Can you help me to tell me how I should kiss the black stone? If you have, if you have a lips stick, if you have a lips stick, hold on, hold on. If you have lips stick in your lips, can you kiss the black stone? Can you kiss the black stone? Listen, listen, listen. Why the Christian? Abdullah, Abdullah, listen. Can you kiss the black stone or not? Can, can you kiss the black stone for me? When, when the next time you will go to Hajj? I want you to kiss the black stone for me. Oh, you want to to bring this? Okay, why you why you kiss the cross? Show me where. Show me where it says in the Bible, kiss the cross. No, no, no. Show me, you, show me. No, I, don't, no, I, don't, no, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't kiss anything. Show me where. Why, you why you're a prophet? You why you're a prophet? The pagan prophet. Why your pagan prophet kiss a stone? Your prophet is a pagan man. Why he kiss a stone? Why he kiss a stone? Oh, the Holy Spirit, the、What? God in the heavens. I know, I know all this. Okay, I live in Arabia. I live in Africa. You know, you know where, you know where, you know, you know what, you know what? Why you kiss? Why your prophet kiss the black stone? He's a pagan. You are a pagan. Did you kiss a stone or not? Do you do you kiss a stone? Who created the black stone? Who created the black stone? Who created the black stone? Jesus. Jesus? No, don't, Jesus don't create the stones. He created the whole world. But you must kiss. You must kiss his stones, right? Why? Why your prophet kissed the black stone? Did he kiss the black stone? Jesus kissed nothing. Your prophet did. Why your prophet kisses stones? Okay, Jesus. Jesus do more actually. Worse actually.、Ah, he play with his so, mother boobs. Tell me why he's doing he, that. He play with his mother what? Boobs. You must、why? be.、Okay. Did you hear it? Jesus actually he did more. He played with his mother boobs actually. Did you hear it? Jesus did what? Why? Why your prophet kissed the black stone? Did he kiss the black stone? Jesus kissed nothing. Your prophet did. Why your prophet kisses stones? Okay, Jesus. Jesus do more actually. Worse actually.、Ah, he play with his so, mother boobs. Tell me why he's doing he, that. He play with his mother what? Boobs. You must、mind. be okay. You see, you see guys.、He's、you see guys. You see guys. You see how you see how savage they are. Look what she said. Oh no! Look what she said. Look what she said. Okay, show me. Show me. Okay, show me a verse. Show me a verse. Really? Show me a verse saying that Jesus he played with his mother boobs. Show me his a verse. Show me a verse saying that Jesus he play. Listen, listen. You are obviously a trashy person. You just insulted Jesus for no reason. You say Jesus he play with his mother boobs, right? Okay. You listen. You are a liar. Number one. Number two. It's your prophet who order women to give their boobs to strangers. Is that true or not? No, it's not. Can I suckle you? Okay, let us read the hadith. Can I suckle you? Can I suckle you? Can I? And this is what the filthy Mimi Hijab, the piece of garbage, he cut from the whole video. It's just a second after she said that Jesus he played with his mother boobs. So do you think Mimi Hijab he did not hear it? He hear only that part. Filthy cowards! They try to frame you. Oh, Christian Prince is asking a Muslim woman to, you know, to suckle him. Did you hear it? I've been calling you. I've been calling you. You're not picking up. Yeah,、Why? but did you hear it or not? 
I just told you I'm going now. I'm busy. No, did you? Know? you so are you saying to me? Are you, are you saying to me? You asked me to play it for you, and you did not hear it in purpose, don't you? No, I told you. I've called you. I've called you. You're not picking up, right? I, I am. I am playing the video. I told you. You. I said. Okay. You, you said to me, "Let okay, me hear okay, it. Okay. I want to hear it." You said to me, "I want to okay, hear okay. it." Right? Okay. Here we go. This is the video. I will send you the link. Stop having excuse. The moment one o nine, she said that Jesus is playing with his mother boobs. And right after that, I said to her, suckle me. Your prophet okay. is the one who said, in fact, your prophet is the one who said, I can suckle you. Suckle me. Okay. If she if she said that, then she should Don't tell me if she that. she did. We just played the video. That's what I'm saying. She shouldn't have, she shouldn't have said so that. So why your of... brother Mimi Hijab, if he is a man, why he is defending a woman, she is insulting Jesus that he is playing with his mother boobs sexually. How he is lying, saying she is very young girl. When the women, she said she been all around the place, and she is speaking in a very filthy way. Is that how young girls they speak? This is a growing woman. So you lie about her age. You lie about what he, she say. You lie about what she did, and you cut the video just to frame me. You Muslims have no dignity. You have to admit. Well, it, it, to, to, the way you're behaving, you don't have any dignity. So what are you behaving? A woman, she said. Jesus, he played with his mother boobs. So what do you want to say? Okay. I caught, Maybe. I did not, hold on, hold on. I did quote your prophet saying that I can suckle her. So if I quote your prophet, I am misbehaving, you are saying. Is it your prophet, he said, don't run. Is it your prophet, is it your prophet, he said that the women, she have to do breastfeeding for adult? Can I respond? Can Go I ahead. respond? Go ahead. Okay, maybe maybe she said it in the wrong way, but ah, um, give me the good way. Okay, give me no 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 no. Give me the good way to play with the mother boobs. Go ahead, but okay. but guys, okay. maybe she said it in the wrong way. Look how they defend. Look okay, look look, yeah, look at yeah. the first. Look, he is defending a woman, and the Muslim they claim that they love Jesus and they they defend Jesus. Okay, can I respond? Is Jesus a prophet for you? This is what I'm saying. When the lady talk like that, she should have thought about Isa al Islam. Well, as a what do you mean she should? She should. She should. That. Are you saying she is a filthy woman or she because, is a good woman? Is she filthy? Because, is she filthy? Making filthy accusation I'm, against what you I'm call gonna, a prophet I'm, of God. I'm, is she filthy or not? I'm not going to call her. Why that, not? Okay, Why not? If I say to you now, I, you are playing with your mother boobs, is that filthy or something good? I mean, it's wrong. No, but see, have see how hypocrite you wrong. are. So you, you are okay. So if I say it, I be in filthy. If you say it, it's wrong. No, because with you, yeah, you insult people. You know. I insult uh, what? I, what? 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 You call people potatoes. You so call what? people this. Uh, but, yeah, but, uh, uh, hold on, hold on, you, hold on, hold on. But I call you. People, I call you potato. Here we go. I prove it. Here we go. I just showed you the video. And you refuse to condemn what Mimi Hijab he did because he cut the video and honest. He cut the part where she insulted Jesus, provoking me. And you are the one who said to me, "What you provoke her? You provoke her. You know." I said, "I was speaking you, about." Listen, listen. You your Muslims, your Muslims are a bunch of cowards. You have no dignity like your prophet. And yes, you are a potato because if you are not, then a, a person who have a dignity, he have to have dignity always. He say wrong to the wrong. Doesn't matter who say it. He say faith is faith. Doesn't matter who say it. It's your brother or your enemy. So okay, are you are you willing to say that the one who insulted Jesus, calling, saying, accusing him that Jesus was molesting his mother? Are you going to stand to defend the prophet of Allah against your sister who is insulting Jesus in a very filthy way, or you will just say this is wrong? Well, okay. If she had said said that, she's definitely in the wrong. Okay, See? because that's not the way you will not condemn her. Just uh, shut up. Just you are just a coward like the rest Ooh. of them. <laughs> he keeps saying definitely wrong. If she said that, I mean, we just play it for him. And he say if she play if she said that, can you believe it? How coward they are, and they claim they love Jesus, and Jesus is a prophet of Islam, but when they debate us, they insult Jesus nonstop. Do you see the hypocrisy? And then they cut the video, a video two hours long. Hey, Christian Prince, he said to her, uh, "Suckle me." Your prophet told you to do muta. Are you willing to take off your panty? This is 
oh, Christian Prince, he said that, uh, you know. But the, this woman, obviously, she is she is a porn style person. She is the one who starts with the sex, not me. I'm just quoting your prophet. So the second you quote Muhammad, you are filthy. Let us admit it. The second you quote Jesus, you are holy. Right? <clears throat> and just to show you the stupidity of the Muhammadan, they try to change the topic because they are ashamed of their brothers and sisters. So what they do, look, as an example, just to show you. Here we go. <laughs> In Genesis 19, 33, so that they, they th that night they got their father drunk with wine, and they firstborn went and slept with their father. <laughs> you see how stupid you are? Who are they? Are they God sent? Are they good women? Are they doing sin? The Bible reporting what people did, you stupid. And I will answer you right now from your Quran. Isn't it your Quran says that the wife of Lut, she was a whore and she betrayed her husband? What difference is going to make? So when the Bible reports what people do, the Bible never approve what they do. And it says there they did that because they were afraid there's no men that will marry them and there's no men around and they will have no kids and they will die. But the Bible nowhere says, oh, God told them. But now I want to ask you, when you were a prophet, he slept with his daughter, which is the wife of his son. Is that God telling you to do it? Or what about your God in the Quran says, We go to the interpretation, it says, that a man, a father, he can sleep with his daughter if she is a daughter from adultery. Do you see the front? We got you busted. Is it God who told them to go sleep with your father? No. This is their behavior. The Bible reports the crimes, sin, filth, what people do, and good things they do, bad and good. But this is your God saying that we made, this is a chapter 25, verse number 54. Allah, he made the lineage only through marriage. If there is no marriage, there is no lineage. Therefore, it is not forbidden. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. To the father to have sex with his daughter. If she is a daughter from adultery. <laughs> and now what you will say to me? You will wish you never opened this topic. You will wish you never opened this topic. I will open for you your official Islamic website. Which one you want? Saudi Arabia? Government of Saudi Arabia? Let's do it. So now what we find that this is Islamic religion approving you having sex with your daughter lawfully. This is Al Qurtubi. You can open any you want. And this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Be my witness. Do you see it? Quran.ksu education.sa. Very official Islamic website, government. Tafsir al-Qurtubi. And this is the interpretation. I will read it in Arabic and I will use Google Translation, peace be upon him. It says here, <clears throat> uh, just to be sure actually, which verse is that? Uh, no, this is actually, this is a different verse. Let us go to the verse we want. Give me a second. Uh, 20, 2554. We will stay in the same uh, website. And here we go. We go to verse number. In the front of your eyes. 
And now the Muslim, they will wish they never mentioned this verse. Oh, what we did. Man, our religion teaching us we can have sex with our daughters. Read with me. Read, you coward. It says here, نسب وصهر النسب والصهر معنيان يا عماني كل ذي كل قربة بين آدميين قال ابن العربي النسب عبارة عن خلط الماء بين الذكر والأنثى على وجه الشرع فإن كان بمعصية كان خلقا مطلقا ولم يكن نكن نسبا محققا Are you with me? Abdul? Okay ولذلك لم يدخل تحت قوله حرمت عليكم أمهاتكم وبناتكم Listen, this is why it's not going under what the Quran says. It's forbidden for you, your mother and your daughter. Why? Because she is a daughter from adultery. Because according to Islam, she is not considered as a daughter. Listen, so now we have a daughter. She's your daughter from your blood. You step with her mother. You made her have the daughter. Just because she is a daughter of fornication, you can have sex with the mother and the daughter. And he continues saying, وَإِذَا لَمْ يَكُنْ نَسَبَ شَرْعًا فَلَا صَهْرَ شَرْعًا فَلَا يُحَرَّمُ الزِّنَا بِنْتْ أُمْ وَلَا أُمْ بِنْتْ وَمَا يُحَرَّمُ مِنَ الْحَلَالِ لَا يُحَرَّمُ مِنَ الْحَرَامِ Let us use Google Translation. So it's not forbidden to have sex, fornication, with the mother and your daughter. And this is your book. Read it. Read it, you see? He copied for me saying chapter 4, verse number 40, 23. It's forbidden for you to have sex with your mother and your daughter. I got you busted. This is not included. It says that to you. You are stupid, my friend. It just said that in the same interpretation. It is not going under forbidden for you, your mother, your daughter. Why? Because she is a daughter from fornication. Read it with me and laugh at your religion. The Almighty say in the lineage and in the law, lineage and the law are two meaning that pervade every kind of kinship. Uh, that is between two human beings. Ibn al-Arabi said, the lineage is the mixing of the water between a male and female according to Sharia. So if it's not according to Sharia, that is not a lineage because she is not a daughter according to the most more correct of the two opinion of the scholars. This is the accurate one. What? She is not his daughter. And more correct of the two saying of the religion. Because Allah is grateful to his slave by lineage and marriage. And raise their destiny. He attached ruling regarding the lawful forbidden. Then he continue. So fornication. The, the translation here is not coming correct. So if there is no marriage, the, the, the scholars, they differ about the opinion of this method. But as you see, he said the most opinion, most accurate is the, this one. So if the man have a fornication and he have a daughter from fornication, he can, the translation here is messed up, he can have fornication with his daughter and the mother of his daughter. Why? Because she is not considered his daughter according to Islam. Do you see it? So when you say to me, the Quran forbid you from having sex with your daughter, if she is a legally daughter, not the one who is a daughter of fornication. So when a Muslim, he posed for us from the Old Testament, trying to change the topic, the Old Testament never approved what they did. The Old Testament says what people do. There is a lot of people who commit sin. There's nowhere it says, oh, God told them. They did, and it says even there. Why you don't quote the verse after it? Because you are a coward. So this is their own decision, and the purpose was not to sleep with their father, but they want to have kids because there's no men around. They thought they will die alone, and there's, that's it. There's no more people will be around. Remember, in the time of Adam, the children of Adam, they have sex with their sisters. 
No Muslim complain. Those, they have the same situation. I'm not defending them. I'm saying what they did. So because you are a hypocrite, we are showing you now from your book that you can have sex with your daughter. If she is a daughter from adultery. And the funny is, it says here, it doesn't go, it's forbidden for you, your daughter. <clears throat> Why? Because according to Islam, the mixing of water have to go according to the Sharia Allah, which is not a law really. You see? Only mixing between water, between and according to Sharia, is marriage. This is why she is not his daughter, she is not considered his daughter according to the most accurate of saying and scholar of the of Islam. So why she is not forbidden? Because she is not a daughter. She's daughter by sex, yes, but not by marriage. So in Islam, you can have sex with your daughter. And here the translation is not coming good, but we can do a different uh, way to do the translation. Let us see if we use Google Translation copy just a sentence, not the whole page. Maybe that would do better. Google Translate. <clears throat> and now I will copy in the front of your eyes. Copy. And now we go to Google Translation. And paste. Be my witness. It's forbidden for you it doesn't go it does not therefore it does not it didn't come under this verses saying your mother and your daughter are forbidden for you why for his daughter from adultery is not his daughter according to the sharia law and the most accurate scholars opinion so it's not forbidden for you to have sexual relationship with the mother and the daughter. Where are you, Abdul? If if you know Arabic, why don't you say it to you, to us? It uh, to us, you liar. What? 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 What to us? Look, look how, look, look at the drama. If you know Arabic, what about you call me and you read it and you translate? And as you see, I'm using Google Translation. Is Google Translation working for me too? If you know Arabic, hmm, if you know Arabic, why don't you say it is it to, it to us, you liar? What to us? Say to us. I just showed you in Arabic, I showed you in English. Camera you're in. What say to us? And here we go, I will give you the link. And what I can do more? Guys, what I can do more? Here we go. This is Al Qurtubi, and this is the interpretation, and this is your official Islamic website. What I will do more? You can have sex with your daughter. If she is a daughter from adultery, and yet you're accusing me to be a liar? I mean, people are laughing at you. This is the answer you have? And now he wish he did not mention what he mentioned. So it turned to be that the Muslim is the one who approves sleeping with their daughters, not the Christians, not the Jews. And Muhammad himself, he slept with his own daughter too. Do you know it says from adultery, meaning he cannot, he cannot use stupid man? What do you mean you cannot, you idiot? It says because she is a daughter from adultery, it's not forbidden for you, Mr. You cannot. <laughs> 
He say, Muslim, Muslims, listen, it says you cannot, brother. It says you cannot. Where? Where, where, where? It says you cannot. It says you can. Because she is, according to Islamic law, she is not his daughter. Therefore, fornication with your daughter, it's not forbidden. Let me read again. Potato. And this is my challenge to any Muslim who read Arabic to read it for me and tell me I'm lying. النسب عبارة عن خلط الماء بين الذكر والأنثى على وجه الشرع فإن كان بمعصية كان خلقا مطلقا ولم يكن نسبا محققا ولذلك لم يدخل تحت قوله and this is why it doesn't go under his statement it's forbidden for you your mother and your daughter from your daughters and then he say continue بنته من الزنا لأنها it's not forbidden for you your daughter from zina because she is not his daughter according to the most accurate statement of the scholars and the most accurate opinion of the religion. And if there is no lineage, there is no marriage. So, فَلَا يُحَرَّمُ الزِّنَا بِنْتْ أُمْ وَلَا أُمْ بِنْتْ So let me copy this part alone and post it in Google. So we laugh. It doesn't say that, CP. You are lying, CP. <laughs> he said, Okay, so now we copy here and uh, let us copy this part and go to Google Translate. It doesn't say that, CP. <laughs> you know, I, I really feel sorry for the Muslims. They are like desperately trying to defend, but wherever they go, they are in the poopoo. -poo. Here we go. Copy, paste in the front of your eyes. There is no in law according to Sharia. Fornication is not forbidden for a girl or the mother of the girl. <laughs> so now he tell you because she is not his daughter. Huh? Let us copy the line before it. So because she is the she is not your daughter according to Islamic law, you have no problem to have fornication with the daughter. Because she is not your daughter, according to Islam. Here we go. Let's go back. Ah. We copy this line. And we paste in Google. It doesn't say that, CP. How cute. <laughs> so, daughter of adultery, because she is not his daughter, in the most correct Two saying of the scholars and the most two correct saying of the religion. Therefore, you can have sex with her. Are you there? <laughs> but remember, it doesn't say that, CP. Hold on, we forgot about this guy, Sakura. Let us see. If we can go to his page and uh, give him, even though I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> Let us see if he's live. Uh, he's not live still. I mean, the potato, he said he will go live at 2. At 1 o'clock. He, he did not show up again. You know? Yeah. Until now, he did not. He is not. Is not life potato i think i think he knew it i, I he heard they told him i will call him so he's not coming look this is 1 p.m he should come online it is already 2 12 p.m and the funny the title is the story how Zachariah Butros, he ran away, brother. <laughs> so I said, I, I even post in there in the chat, give me your Skype, I'm going to call you live today. You know, and this is supposedly he will go live at one o'clock and I gave him the message yesterday, 16 hours ago too. And he did not show up yet. Yeah, he heard I'm going to call him live on air, so he decided not to come. Hmm. 
And now after I hang up, he will come live on air. <laughs> Do we have any brave Muslim? Hold on, we have somebody claiming to be Muslim. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice, so I'm not going to stay long, you know, much more. Hello? Okay. Hello. Hello, my friend. You are a Muslim? Yes, that's right. Okay, I see your, 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 your name. Your... You on speak. I'm driving at the minute. Oh, okay. Just one second. Can you hear me? I hear you. All right. Yeah, I've been trying to call you. I know you're a busy man and all that, but I've um, been trying to call you. But yeah, I'm glad you called back. Um, right. So, basically, I've got one issue. A lot of the stuff you've said, I have researched it, and some of it doesn't make sense. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to admit that. But you can say the same thing about the Bible as well. Hmm. Some some stuff don't make sense, but you need to understand the translation. Can you hear me? I hear you. I'm listening. Okay, great. So regarding chapter four, verse thirty-three of the Quran, you know the prostitution verses. Yeah. So, in your understanding, are you saying that Allah will forgive the the Muslims for prostituting their sex slaves or their slaves? Should I say? It doesn't matter he will forgive who there's no penalty and there's no punishment and Allah right. is all merciful. It doesn't say in the verse just to confirm that it doesn't say right. it, it doesn't say uh, uh, who, who Allah is forgiving. It says an Allah Ghafurun Rahim. Allah is merciful. So the chapter 24 right. verse number 33 you mentioned to me chapter 4, right? You're wrong 24. That's okay. Oh, so, sorry. Apologies 24. Yeah. yeah. So chapter 24 it says that uh, force not your girls to do uh, prostitution if they choose a chastity. So that's right. Yeah. Okay. So what is the condition? If they choose a chastity, then don't force them. And if you force them, Allah is all merciful. If there's a penalty. May, force... I, may I say something, please? Sure. Go wasn't on. that wasn't that referring to these two uh, brothers that were basically? I don't think they were Muslims yet. And the tafsir says that the forgiveness is for the women that took part in that prostitution i've read the tasfir i think it was um i think it was ibn abbas or um was it jalalain i can't remember what one there's another guy mm -hmm. um basically it said that when they when they when they gave the tasfir the tasfir was that basically the forgiveness will be for the 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 slaves okay because i've read it i've actually got a snapshot of it actually if you can give me a second i can put it up i mean other test theories doesn't say that. I'll admit that. Yeah. Okay. Um, other test theories doesn't say oh slave girl or this or that. Um, oh yeah, I've got it. So it's here we go. Oh yeah, test theory and Jelly Lane, I think. Hmm. Yeah, test theory and Jelly Lane. It says, um, and if there is compulsion, will be forgiven to these slave girls, merciful to them. So when you actually said that, like. Look, I, I understand what you're doing, yeah. I understand what you're doing. Listen, I'm on, I'm on the fence here, yeah. Right. I've obviously I've been raised up as a Muslim. I'm from, I'm Iraqi Lebanese, so I call them Arabian. But uh, bro, like you've said a lot of stuff that's actually made me think, like what is going on? And the hadiths, let's be honest, the hadiths they don't do any justice for Islam, in it. I'm going to be real. Mm -hmm. right? So any brothers and sisters that are listening now, like, don't be getting upset with me. I'm just speaking the truth. So there is a lot of stuff that doesn't make sense. Like every time Muhammad wants a verse sent, uh, when he wants something done, there's a verse sent down. And what, what I want you to explain to me, because I know you're knowledgeable. What, what does it mean when it says we created you? And yeah, it says, let, let us go before sorry, we go sorry. about we create. Let us finish this uh, adultery thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you say those are not Muslims. It's not true. You know, if you open the interpretation, you will see that those are Muslims. This is why you cannot give an order for someone is not a Muslim, right? I mean, the Quran is given to the Muslims. 
those who don't believe in the Quran, the Quran have no authority over them. They have to believe in the law in order to practice the law. Do we agree? No, I agree with that. Okay, so this is was for Muslims, and what the verse saying, force not your girls, and they are the slaves, to do prostitution, because there is a guy, uh, <clears throat> he is a Muslim, and uh, he was beating the slaves, and forced them into prostitution. So what Muhammad did, the, the people, they complain, look what those people are doing. So what Muhammad, he said, they forced them not, Okay, where is the penalty? There's no penalty. The guy is still beating them. The guy is still using them for prostitution. And now we make it even more horrible because now we made it license prostitution. If they agree, it's perfect. Yeah, you're right, you're right. That, that, that's the bit that, that, that boggles me where it says, don't force them unless they agree to it. So if they agree to it, it's okay. That's what I don't understand. That is... Yeah, that's what it says. It's in front of you. You don't even need interpretation. Are you sure? Are you sure about that? No, no, it's not me who's saying that. It says there. It's in front of you. Can you read it for me, please? Because I'm okay. driving. Or... Uh, uh, you are reading tra a translation. I don't know what translation you read. But uh, that one in front of me says, but force, them, force not your maids to prostitution when they desire chastity in order that you right. make, make gain on, uh, in, in good, like making money. Okay. Yeah, it, but doesn't that mean... Sorry, sorry. Doesn't that mean... Don't force them if they desire the chances of... So, yeah, it sounds like... It sounds like it's saying... Look, if they desire not to be prostitutes and stay, like, you know, hmm. clean and that, don't force them. Okay. But if they desire, it's okay. But, yeah, that's that's, that's the thing that's... Okay, if I say to you, don't don't force your son to go to, uh, to the park unless he likes to go. That means it's okay to go if you like, correct? Yeah, that's right. That's okay. Right, yeah. So this way, can we agree? Sorry to interrupt you. So can we agree? Maybe because remember, all these guys giving Tesfir and that it's, you know it's a human, bro. He's giving his opinion of what the verse is, but when no, you no, read no. it in the Quran, oh, go on. Yeah, it's Quran saying but that, when you, not the Tafsir. I know, I know, I know, I know. The the Quran saying that. Yeah, yeah. But I'm saying the way they test fear it, like when they put the brackets, they're saying the slave girls and things like that, like they will be forgiven. Like I totally understand what you're saying. You you're know, saying if they've been compelled, if they've been compelled to do this, yeah, then Allah is most most forgiven, etc. Et and uh, you know, isn't it funny to say that Allah will forgive them for something they are being forced to? I mean, this is stupid to say because they are forced to. How are you forgive them for what? If somebody. No, no, he's He's just he, he's he's basically implying that he will be forgiven because they're being forced. That's what it means. Like, yeah, but but uh, but what, okay, what is the solution now? There's no solution. So they came to him. They said there's people they are doing this as a business, and instead of saying it's forbidden for you, can't Muhammad, can't Allah says it's forbidden for you prostitution period? Yeah, you know what? You know what? You're right. You're right. I'm not even gonna beat around the bush. I'm not even gonna beat around the bush. Like that's. You're right, all right? That is not right. A lot of the Muslim brothers that I'm hearing coming on here, they keep beating around the bush. They keep going around in circles, like, do you know what I mean? Let's be honest, right? Is there a chance that after Muhammad died, peace and blessings, yeah, that they corrupted the Quran? Because remember, you had Imam Ali Quran, you had all these different Qurans, right? So there's a chance that these guys might have put in little things just to, you know, to fulfill their desires. We don't know that. Let's be real. Like, it's... it's... Yeah, but you're... Because you see, if you look at it, yeah... You see, my friend, for me, I don't care really if the Quran is corrupt Sorry, or not. Man. I don't care really if the Quran is corrupt or not. The Quran I have in front of me is stupid. <laughs> you know? Why want to yeah, yeah, give I, myself I, a headache? Yeah, yeah. You know? I mean, if this is a book of God... Did did the, the God when He gave the commandment to Moses, He said you can run prostitution? Did He say no, to him, no, no, no. "You can read, run prostitution"? I've, I've read a lot of the Bible. I've read a lot of the Bible. Yeah. So if Moses, I, I saw, I, I, if yeah. Moses is a Muslim prophet, as Muslim they claim, then how the ethic of Islam is zero? This is zero. This is yeah, zero. That, you know, yeah. Muhammad should be angry actually if he's a decent man when he heard the news that somebody is beating the women forcing them into prostitution you should go to him and punish him there's no penalty there's no punishment you do not bring even the man read that tafsir 
He did not bring the yeah, message. Yeah, Shame on you. What are you doing? Let us let us take him to court. Look what he's doing. You know, he did not do anything. Yeah, go ahead. I should have said, do not do not force or your mates into any prostitution. Do not prostitute any of your slaves. That would have been a better verse. But yeah. maybe there's a different way to look. I don't know. I don't know. How does the Arabic say it? Because in that in the Arabic, actually, in Arabic is way Arabic. horrible than the English. You see, I have I have in front of me. Uh, Can you uh, just uh, read that last little bit? Could you read that last little, little bit in Arabic, please? Just that bit where it says in the Quran, you mean? Them, please. All right. It says, ولا تكره فتياتكم على البقاء إن أردنا تحصنا لتبتغوا أرض الحياة الدنيا ومن يكرههن فإن الله من بعد إكراههن غفور رحيم. Yeah. So, then, so what is the solution now? What happened? Did he forbid the prostitution? No. As long as they are your slaves and you own them, you can run prostitution business, especially if they agree. Like now, this guy Andrew Tate. This, hold okay, on. I'm this guy, this guy I'm Andrew Tate. This guy Andrew Tate. Yeah. He have yeah. many prostitutes working for him, and they okay. execute is they, they agree. Tate. They agree. Yeah. Okay. So uh, Andrew Tate. Is doing exactly what the Quran says. He is not supposedly, according to him, he is not forcing them. You know, he is just fooling them into do prostitution, and they agree. Okay, so he's fine. So this is why the Muslims are may, raising. May I say something? Now, I'm, look, let's come off. Let's come off this topic. Let's, now let's come off this topic because I'm going to agree that it doesn't sound right. There might be some corruption in that verse. God okay. knows what. You know, Allah knows what, but. Um, I just want to get into a few other stuff. Um, so, in the Bible, it says you're not going to have. Uh, they said, whose wife will it be, or something? If his brother dies and his brother dies, how many men? Whose wife will she be in heaven? But I think Jesus says something about um, in the kingdom of heaven, there's no giving or taking into marriage, or something like that. Yeah. Um, so, but when the Quran says about you know having wives in heaven and and you know things like that this is where it boggles me because i'm just trying to think obviously we're not going to be sitting in the clouds just sitting there like yeah like sitting in the clouds obviously we're going to have a life there as well you see um because i've read a lot of testimonies of people that have died and come back alive and those testimonies are actually the ones that have made me question things. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like all these people that have died and come back alive, they see Jesus, Jesus, even like Muslims see Jesus. And when I'm seeing all these videos and I'm just like, what's going on here? Like, even like this, do you know what I mean? So, I mean, what does he mean about we're gonna have 72 virgins and you're gonna have wives from hell, from Jahannam? You know, it's. it's I don't know, brother, man. I don't know. Not only that, I mean, your Muhammad, he described even how your penis, excuse my language, will be never go limp, you know? But that's hadith. That's hadith, isn't it? That's, yeah, is, we'll well, is it the Quran, my friend, yeah. the Quran is a hadith. I know, I know, I know. It's a hadith. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. so Quran is a hadith. But, hadith is a hadith. So now, uh, you know, uh, uh, if Muhammad is saying, the Quran is saying, is Muhammad saying the Quran? So we're, all is coming from the mouth of Muhammad. Islam is religion is based in one man only. There's no witnesses. What? Muhammad said. Allah said to Muhammad, but Muhammad never spoke even to Allah. Yeah, this is the thing that's boggling me, yeah? <laughs> when I read the Bible, God is actually saying, I, I, from the beginning, this, and it's always I, I, but where's the we coming from? Like, a lot of brothers have said, yeah, it's a royal we, but how can you... I don't get that. that you know, when they say um, we... when they say it's a royal we, that is even making more embarrassing. Why? Because they are saying that Allah He tried to fix His attitude or His position mm. in by adding a word to His name. So now He feel better. He is higher by saying we. But this is something you do if you are not confident of yourself, and if you don't think you are the Creator. So you are trying to convince us by saying the word we that you are great because the word I is not satisfying you. But this is against the monotheism because... Oh, I'm just, sorry to interrupt you, CP. There was one thing that you was talking about the other day about the burning bush with the brother about the burning bush. Yeah. 
and that was it Allah speaking through the bush or not? But when I read the Bible, it says the angel of the Lord mm. was in the speaking from the bush. So when that brother said, you know, oh, but it could be an angel, he did have a point. To be honest with you, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I, are you see? You see, this is why I say that Quran is not a book of God because you cannot find answers. Mm. It's my no, point. It's, 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 mixed, it's mixed up, isn't it? It's, 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 yeah. just, it's a lot of fear. There's a lot of fear. And I see a lot of my Christian friends, they're happy. You know, that like, I've seen, like, they've invited me to, like, where they prayed for people and they've been healed and that. And I was a bit skeptical, I'm not going to lie to you, but it's a bit tough, man. Should I be honest with you? The way I look at it is, I see a lot of my Muslim brothers brainwashed. Like they, it's it's like when I look at them, it's like their eyes are fixated. It's like I don't know what it is. It's 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 it. I don't want to say what I think, but yeah. But you know, it, bit, everything, my friend, everything, demonic. everything it's the Muslim they come demonic. to us with, even a false excuse. Like even when we speak about uh, the angels, they are in the bushes, but doesn't mean God did not speak from the bush because God said, "I am your God." Even this verse yeah, said no, that God, no, God did speak through the bush in the Bible. It does say. That, like the Lord spoke through the bush, but obviously doing my research of the angel of the no, Lord. My, if the angels are in the in, in there, it doesn't mean that God is not the one is speaking from the bush. That's true. That's true. That's true. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so true. the Quran says this. So Quran says. Can I say something? Can I say Allah, something? Because yeah. the, just the way just the way God spoke uh, from reading the Bible, God spoke through the prophets. Yeah. Uh -huh. So the same way He can speak through the angels. Yeah, but now God is speaking Himself. This is not about throw somebody. It can be yeah. throw, like delivering a message, but not speaking really through. Through, yeah. it's like delivering a message. Okay, I did not hear God. God mm -hmm. came, you know, sent me an angel, spoke to me, and He said to me, "God saying to you, no problem." Like you know, God He sent an angel to Mary, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, God yeah. spoke to Mary, but not directly. He sent an angel, but no problem. But now yeah. the Quran saying that Allah spoke from the tree saying i am your god allah so how they can say mm. it's an angel yeah no i don't get why they're refuting that it doesn't make it's, it's like it's same just making time, us look same making time. us look worse every time they do that it's making us look worse like why are you mm. trying to hide from it like just say yeah okay they don't want to they don't want to admit that because they don't want to admit that god probably well, come down but not was, all muslims are like you i'm surprised i thought you are calling me and you are upset but look like you agree with me with many things i'm not upset do you know what it is brother do you know what it is yeah hmm. i'm a truth seeker see, okay see I, I look at common sense but islam on the outside it looks like the holy religion it looks like holy it's, you know it looks it looks the part you see it looks the part but then obviously in the inside of it, there's a lot of anger, like my people, they're angry. There's a lot of violence. There is good Muslims, like there is good Muslims. You can't deny that, CP. There are some good Muslims out there. What, what are good you know, Muslims? No, there is no good Muslim. No, no, not like that. Like I'm saying like they're good humans. They have morals. Okay, that's different. See? You see, because good, good Muslim. My dad, see my dad, <laughs> see my dad, yeah. Hmm. He's a good guy. He does everything good. The only thing is, he, the muta thing, in it, like, because obviously we're Shia, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, they I don't think know, I don't know, right. what, I don't know what your name to call you, but listen, well, I'm I, Ali. Ali, Ali, okay, Ali. Listen, Ali, you are welcome, by the way. You are a nice person. Uh, nice one, uh, when I say there's no good Muslim, I'm not trying to insult you or insult your dad. I'm saying good Muslim. Who is a good Christian? Good Christian is someone who follow Jesus, correct? That's right. Okay, yeah. someone don't follow Jesus is not a good Christian. A good Muslim is someone follow Islam. Right. If you don't follow Islam, he's not a good Muslim. So when you say to me, a good Muslim, are you talking about the word good as follower of Muhammad or good as bad person would behave? Because if you follow Muhammad, you are a bad person. Humanely good. Humanely good. Exactly. Like, so a good, Muslim, a, a good Muslim. So what's going to happen? What's going to happen to these Muslims that are the modern day Muslims that are good people? They don't follow the Quran in <coughs> violence. They don't. What's going to happen to them? My friend, are they gonna go my hell? friend, my my Bible says that the the one who deny Jesus, he will not go to heaven. As simple as that. I know. I read that. I read that. Okay. I that, brother, so I cannot. I, I cannot say. It, I cannot say to you more. I'm not God. I'm not the one who decides where they will go. But the Bible says, uh, Jesus said, "I am the way. I am the, I am the true. I am the life. And there is no one can go to the Father but by me." Very simple. May I say something? May I say something, please? Sure. Uh, I researched different sects of Christianity. Mm. And the one sect 
that is I'm drawn to into believing that you know that it might be something that might be the truth, right? Is like the oneness of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit being the one God, Jesus Christ, manifested in the flesh. Um, I, I was listening to this pastor called Pastor Gino Jennings, and everything he was saying, it was very similar to Islam, but obviously we don't believe he died on the cross. It was someone else who was made to look like him. I mean, even with the cross thing, but I, I'm not going to switch topics. Let me just stay on this topic quickly. So they believe that, God is one. They don't associate partners with him. They believe just how Melchizedek, right? Mm. Um, God was in him. That's where Abraham, I think, gave a tenth or a fifth or something like that of his of the bounty um, to him. He has no beginning, no end. So it just shows that God can manifest, right? He can manifest inside the flesh because it says in the Bible, it says, what was that verse? It says, um, God was manifest or something. And uh, yeah, and the, okay. But my friend, yeah. my friend, uh, let me let me answer about this. But those people, first of all, whoever whoever say that Jesus was not on the cross, that is a stupid to say because we have tons of verses from the disciple, like John. He said, "We touch his hands, we saw his wound, we touched the, his wound." So this is a, a false st story. Secondly, I know, I know. Yeah, secondly, I know, I know. secondly, you know, isn't it Jesus? He said, "Before the world was, I was with the Father, with with the Father." You know. So if they say there's no uh, no Jesus as a person, there's only one God as a person, that is against what the Bible says. So those people are not... So you're, saying, so you're saying that in the beginning, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit were there, chilling on separate thrones. You know, what the, what the book of John says, in the beginning it was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word became a flesh. flesh. So that's God. Yeah. So th yeah, but he's a God of his word, isn't okay. he? He's a God of his word, no? No, God of his word, but he, I'm talking about the word itself, become a flesh. So God is the word, and God become a flesh. So uh, uh, we as a Christian, we don't believe in what those people are saying. Those are cult. I don't know who they are, but they are no Christian, because a Christian right. is someone who believes in Trinity. If you don't believe in Trinity, you are a Christian. Period. I know, but it's not in the Bible, though, that word. No, really, it is, is it? all over the Bible, from the beginning, from the book of Genesis. Open chapter number one, you will see God and his spirit. God, he came, right, to, yeah. God, he came to, uh, to Abraham. Three, three, they came to Abraham, correct? Three men. Yeah, that's true. That's and true. one of yeah, them, Abraham, he called him Lord, and he bowed down to him, worshipping him. Mm. And Jesus said, before Abraham, before Abraham I am. So the Jews, they said to him, when you was before Abraham, and you are not even 50 years old, he said, truly, truly, I say to you that Abraham, he saw my day and he rejoiced for it. So so when we go to heaven, CP, who are we going to see? Who are we worshiping? We will see the, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God. We will see the Father and the Son and the Spirit, how we will see the Spirit. The Spirit, I believe, was going to be within us, with us as a Spirit. Uh, but uh, we will see our God, our Can I say uh, Almighty. Can I say something? Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, so. You're saying this, the spirit of the son of God came down from heaven and went into the spirit of the son of God who was born on earth, the son of man. Is that what you're saying? God, God as a, 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 a as a word of God became a flesh, but that flesh have a spirit still, you know, hmm. the spirit. Like I am me and you as a normal human being, we have spirit within us, correct? So right. even every human being of us is a three in one. You have your body, your flesh. You have the spirit, this number two, and you have the will, which is your mind. So if one of them is missing, you are dead. If your brain is stopped, you are dead. Do I agree? No, I agree with what you're saying. Okay. But if so you, we are three. If you look at, we are three, look at it, but one. Yeah, sorry, CP. If you look at it logically, right, <clears throat> the oneness, the what? because remember, the oneness, it makes sense, like these Christians that believe in the oneness, because... My friend, we Obviously, as a Christian, we I'm believe not... in the oneness of God. We don't believe. I know, I know you. No, look, okay. I know you, I've heard loads of your. I've watched loads of your videos. I know you mm. believe in the oneness, yeah. But mm. I'm not gonna look. The way you look at it is this, yeah. Right, God is one. <laughs> it, 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 all over Isaiah it says, "There's no God besides me. I created the world alone." Okay. Um, just throughout the whole Bible, yeah, there are some verses that say, "Let us make, let, let us make man in our image." Oh, you like know, that. Israel worship your God, Echad. Echad is a word, mean. I know, it's, I know. In not Arabic, one, it's not one as name. a number, not one as a number. It's a unity. That's why it's so used all over the Bible. Arabic, 
But in Arabic, Ahad is Sunday as well, which is the first day of the week. Ahad, Ahad actually, is is a, is a word meaning one off, not one. Okay, okay, one off, one off. But what mm -hmm. I'm saying to you is, I, if I was to believe in the Christianity, I would believe more of the oneness because I would believe, okay, if I'm going to say, you know, Asa is, obviously I don't want to say it, but you know what I mean? If he's the Lord like that, mm. would it, wouldn't it make sense that he was one? So the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are one, right? One God. He sent his spirit down. He created the body inside of Mary, peace be upon her. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and he sent his spirit in that body. That's why I think there's a verse where Jesus says, I, I do nothing of myself. No, but the father. Let me let, uh, allow me allow me for a second. You right, see, right, right. When, you, when you mention the word we in the Quran, you say to me the Muslims they say we as a royal, right? Right. Okay. If you go in the book of Genesis, you will see that God He said, "Let us make humankind in our image, us, our, our us, our." Yeah, yeah, our. Yeah, yeah. So this is not the book of the Christian. This is the book of the Jews, as a start. Right, this is the book of Genesis, chapter number mm. one, I think, in verse number 26. So, let us make man in our image. Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Mm. Our, 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 us, our, our. So, is, is the God of the Christian is using the us and the we for majestic? No, because in the same chapter, you will see that God and His Spirit. There's not. Mm. There's no creation yet. There's no creation. There's nothing, you know, nothing, nothing. Mm. So God and okay. His Spirit are uh, is mentioned right away in the front. So when when uh, when somebody says, okay, uh, uh, the oneness of God makes sense, who said, you know, uh, we, we don't believe in it. Same time, if you want to go by the sense of a human, I mean, nothing is making sense because, okay, is it make sense that Jesus have a father, have no father? Doesn't make sense, unless mm. unless. You have to believe that Jesus is a special person who come to the earth, sent by his father. This is why he have no father. The Muslim, they respond to that. They say, oh, Adam have no father, which is very funny because Adam was created from dust. Jesus is coming from above. Jesus said, I am from above. You are from below. Correct? Yeah. So Jesus, before he come to earth, he is confirming he was exist in above with the father and you don't belong to my kingdom you know you don't you are from from down below so he is not from the same and this is why he keeps saying my father my father my father and you know my father i know my father he know me and i know the father before the world before the world before all the worlds exist so when when somebody he come and he try to speak about what makes sense and doesn't make sense i find that there is a you know some kind of confusion or some they have a hypocrisy because does it make sense that Mary, she is shaking the palm tree? I mean, why she go to the gym every day? She is. Uh, yeah, but why, why, why do the Catholics call Mary the mother of God? How can God have a mother? But it, it's uh, you know you can uh, don't agree with the statement, but it's not uh, far away from the truth because Mary she is the mother of Jesus and Jesus is God. So it's, it's a simple word for who is she? There's many Mary. Yeah, but that, that's that's not mentioned in the Bible. No, it doesn't matter. Doesn't know. matter. There's no there's not mentioned in the in the Bible the word Trinity too, mm. and there's not mentioned in the Quran the word Tawheed too. So when when somebody say the mother of God, some Christian they say, oh, we should not say that. But for me, I don't find a problem because she is the mother of Jesus. Is Jesus your God? Yes. Okay, she is the mother of Jesus. <laughs> you know. So All right. can I, can can I show you a, one verse? Thank you so much for your time. Right. Mm. Because I know sometimes people say you're rude, but it's only because I know some Muslim brothers, I know they sometimes they get angry and snappy and all that. So I know sometimes that's how you have to deal with it, right? But uh, Zechariah chapter 12, verse 10, that mm. proves that it was the father inside. If you, can we read that? It's, it's nothing against Christianity. Nothing against Zechariah Christianity. chapter 12, okay. Verse 10, please. Yeah. All right. It says, uh, and I will pour upon the house of David, upon the inhabitation of Jerusalem, 
uh, the spirit of a grace and supplications and they shall look upon me whom they have a uh, perceived uh, I don't know how to read the word so, sorry first yeah, yeah, sorry, right, yeah 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 uh, you know, so can uh, I just stop there? Just one second, CP. Sorry. So they, it says there, they shall look upon me, who they pierced. <laughs> now, who's talk, is the father talking there? Because if you carry on, it's yeah. going to all make sense. Like, look, I, obviously, I'm not agreeing with it like 100. percent But I'm saying if I was to agree with a Christian doctrine, yeah. this one, uh, look at something, Habibi. Like this one, kind of makes sense. If you read on, it says, and they shall mourn for him. Okay. So him, that's what the son of God, the son of man, and so carry on, CP. Yeah, but what? Uh, tell me if, uh, first, like uh, uh, you are quoting for, for this for me to approve that the Trinity or to disapprove? No, no. So I'm quoting that to say, look, they shall look upon me, yeah. whom they pierced, mm. and they shall mourn for him. So me, me and him, and him. Good. Yeah. So him. Yeah, yeah, I, I get what you're saying. That you can look at it like that, that as well. But yeah. they shall mourn for him. But that means God was inside of him. Yeah. So God the Father is talking there in the Christian belief. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, actually, you see more even statement, more more clear statement. It says, "The death of right. His only Son." Yeah. Do you know? Do you understand? Yeah, I, I read they, that. that they, on, they will God's mourn. Son. They will mourn for Him. Right as one month for his for only own, so. son so talking yeah. about who, which son god is talking now i know it's a good point there i missed that yeah. i missed that that's a good point yeah. wait, wait, so wait. if you go in the top you will see this is that. this is yeah. god this is god speaking you know and as uh, one morning for the, his only yeah, son the burden yeah, of yeah, the yeah, lord yeah. you know for israel says the lord says the lord so the lord is talking so this what? is a clear verse actually and and here you notice now that those who say to you that uh, like the, the, those sect you mentioned to me, I don't know who they are. The, the oneness, oneness. Uh, Pentecostal yeah, they, no, they, are, they can't be called oneness because we are the one who believe in oneness. So that they have to have a name. So anyway, as you see that his only son, there is no other son. And this is the Bible. And there is no way anyone can can uh, can give us different interpretation. Only son and mourn for his death. You know, so who is the one who is the only son of God and he died? Or shall die so uh, we have tons of verses in the bible saying it clearly that you know uh, god is uh, three and one at the same time uh, i lost your yeah. your your your, uh, your connection was bad so i didn't yeah. sorry now someone called me someone was calling my oh, mother okay. i've got a brother waiting, waiting for me somewhere but so basically i'm going off topic but obviously you can look at it loads of different ways but no, there's, I just want to say there's no to other you, way. No, there's yeah. no, there's no other way, my friend. There's no, there's no other way to look at it, you know, because if on the. So would you say then? Would you say those Christians? Sorry, CP. Would you say those Christians that believe that doctrine, that don't believe in the Trinity, but believe in Jesus Christ, believe He died on the cross, uh, believe that He's God, yeah, believe everything else, mm. but don't believe in the Trinity, but maybe believe in the tri. I lost you again. God, because remember, he manifested it as Melchizedek as well. Can you hear me? Yeah, uh, I say again, uh, I, I keep losing you. I did not hear the part. So they, that's they, right. let me, they let me believe in the... They, 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 okay. the All right. <laughs> okay, so what if you've got Christians now, yeah, that yeah. believe in the, you know, believe in Jesus dying on the cross. They believe he's God. They believe he's the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit in one, just as you guys. Do you believe they're not going to go heaven, them Christians? My friend, I, be, I believe I will make you simple for you. It's not up to me. Right. It's not up to me or up to them to pick up my cherries from book. Either I believe in the book yes. and a believer, or I don't believe in the whole right. book, then I am not a believer. So if you right. don't say, I believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, you are not a believer. You believe in something else. You know? The Bible right. says... Whoever denies the Son and the Father is an Antichrist. Very simple. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, if you yeah. deny the Son or you deny the Father, then you are Antichrist. So if you believe in the Father, the Son, and He is the only Son, even though we call ourselves children of God, yeah. then if you deny that, yeah. that means you deny the Bible. And the Bible says anyone who come with other than this scripture, let him be cursed. So 
when they say we don't believe in certain things, that means they are coming with the new scriptures because the new scripture is the new belief, false scriptures. Yeah, because there's a there's a verse that says um, if any angel or anyone comes Other with something yeah. different to what we preach to you. But yeah, what, what about when Jesus said uh, they said uh, show us the Father, right? And he said, I and the Father is one. I am with you all this time. You do not know me. Yeah. Yeah. That 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 that, that proves. Like, to be honest with you, I would love you to say that. Look, if you believed in that oneness, but believed in the triune nature no, of the, you see, they do believe, you see, they my, do my, believe my, my, my friend, Sorry. my friend, uh, you are a smart person, and I respect right. your intelligence. But look what you what you just said. Why we deny that the, the sentence says I and my father. I oh, well. and and yeah. yeah okay, yeah, so yeah. if he if if they are one as a person not one as a unity or you know God oneness of God then he don't say I and the father if I say to you I and my brother that's mean there's a brother and there's me correct right the language is very simple we do not need to make it complicated so 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 why does he say in Isaiah CP why does he say there's no, there is no other I stretched out the heavens yeah there's no other God that's it this is the God this is the this is the triune, triune God this is the triune God there's no other God He's the same so one I, who came to no, Abraham. I'm starting to understand what you're saying now. I'm starting to, My friend, I'm starting it's to the same God. Now, there's so no other God. Believe, there's no sorry, only God. Yeah. There's no there's no right. other God. There's no other God. Only the God of yeah. Abraham. Okay? Only the God of David. Only the God of Israel. Only the God of Moses. But that does not change the fact that the God of Moses, the God of Abraham, the God of David, the God of you, the God of me, is a three and one in the same time. So when when it says there is no other God or only the word mentioned many times in the in the Bible, only only you know, like if we go to yeah. chapter in John chapter seventeen as an example, let me open it. <clears throat> right. Uh, you will see it says here. And actually, this is something the Muslims always they quote for us, you know, to prove that there is only one God. So in verse in in, the, in the verse number three, it says. But these things are eternal life. They shall know you, for you alone are the true, the, the God of a truth. So the Muslim, they do yeah. that. Okay, hold on. It says here, you are alone. But they don't continue. And Yeshua, the Messiah, is who you sent. And they will not read the verse before it where it says, your son. It says here in the verse number yeah. one, <laughs> these things spoke Yeshua and lifted his eyes to heaven. And he said, My father, the hour has come. Glorify your son, glorify your son, that your son may glorify you, just as you have given him authority over all flesh. He will give eternal life to them uh, uh, because you have given all things whatsoever into him. Talking about himself. So, Jesus, he just mentioned now. He is the father glorified the son. So we have a son, we have a father. Yeah. And he gave him the authority over all the flesh. And all of us, we agree that the one who will judge in the day of judgment is God, no man. Right? It's God. Because so why, why does he say that? Why does he say that? No, thank you for that information. Why does he say, I do nothing of myself, but it's the father who dwelleth in me, he doeth the works? Uh, is, say again, sorry. <clears throat> There's, I can't remember the verse exactly, but it says, I do nothing of myself, but the Father who dwelleth in me. In me. Okay. He yeah, but it's, he it's, it's the, the same. It's the same. You see, what the, when, when Jesus speaks about himself, you know, when we read the Bible, we have to read the whole Bible, not a verse only, to understand. It's like, a, yeah. a, you know, it's like you're playing a video movie, and then you, you're playing a scene that, uh, the, like, there's a guy shooting a guy, but now we don't understand who is the cop and who is the, who is the thief. Right? Yeah. Because we just show somebody one shooting someone. So now the right. one who's shooting is a criminal because he just killed a person. But but it may be he yeah. is killing this person because he is the criminal and he's saving some people. So in the Bible is the same. We have to read the whole so we can understand. So Jesus here now is confirming that he is the son, and the son is exist before all mankind, before the whole world. And all the authority is given to him from the Father, and this is why he called is called the Son. You see, when we when Christian they say the Son, it's mean they are talking about uh, the Son, not the Father. 
You, you know, yeah. who, who is who is who is really the authority belong to? To the father. Very simple. Yeah. You know, yeah. even in the house, the father. Who who have the authority? The father. If the father gave the son authority, the son has authority. If he did not give him authority, he don't have it. So Jesus is saying, all I have is coming to me from the father because they see in front of them a man. So what is this man is getting his authority from? from? And how he say mm. he have authority over flesh? Who are you? You are nobody. You are just a man. No? So when they see, they see the man. And remember, Jesus is speaking to them, not with 600 wings. He's speaking to them as a man with two hands. So those people, they are trying to understand who is Jesus. And Jesus is saying to them, step by step, I am the son of God who came to you. I have the authority over the flesh. And then you will notice here, he says, that they shall know you, for you alone, the God of the truth, and Yeshua, the Messiah, whom you have sent. So Jesus was up before he was sent down. I have glorified you in earth. I have accomplished the work you have given to me to do. Now glorify me, my Father, in union with yourself. Do you see the word union? Yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. And then he continues saying, in that glory which I had in union with you before the universe was. You I mean, know what? You make a good point. Can't that be looked at as another point that he was always, because it says that he, the lamb was slain before the foundation of the world. So I'm, you know, I'm very learned in the Bible. I'm not saying I'm a friend, scholar. Friend, no nothing. problem. No, but you see, I, we, we do not need to go anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we do not need I, to I, go I, anywhere. It says here yeah. clearly that there is a union. Did he mention the word union? Now, or you, know what, you, know what, you know what, CP, hmm. CP, what you said, it makes sense as well. But it's like, I'm on, I'm on the fence because obviously, I'll be honest with you, I'm starting to not even believe that the Quran is the word of God, that, to be honest with you. And number two, just looking, like I read some verses where God says to Abraham, whoever curses you, I will curse them. So like, see how like a lot of the Muslim brothers, they curse the Jews all the time and then they get cursed. Like there's there's so much things going on. And like, I've seen a lot of peace in my friends that I, I know people that have converted to be Christians, Muslims as well. Not many, a couple guys and, and their life changed to be honest with you. Like they, they're different. They're let, not let, angry. let me ask you, uh, uh, let me ask you, did you call me before? I think you um, did, right? No, I have no? called you before. Yeah? Um, maybe, maybe. Okay. I think it might have been a year ago or something. I don't, I don't know, but I'm, I'm just trying because uh, you, the way you talk is uh, sound like I heard you before. But, uh, you yeah. know, it's hard for me to remember because there's too many people calling me. Yeah, uh, you got some good memory. I think it was about two years ago or something. Okay. But, you know, no, you, you will... Been, I was with, yeah, sorry, yeah, go on, go on. You will notice, my friend. Mm. That's now you are saying to me, there's many, they converted to Christianity and they have a peaceful life. And obviously you are not really too much into Islam. So why you don't uh, say I am out of Islam and I, I want to accept Jesus? Yeah, I, 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 look, I was into it, but I found no peace when I was practicing. I found no peace. I went to, I went to, because obviously I became Sunni for a while as well. I left the, the Shia faith. Shiism and because you go to the Shia mosque, the mosque ain't open, they've got all they start beating their chest. Yeah, I remember to the mosque, my dad and everyone's beating their chest for uh, you know, the children of um, okay, what, what about the Muslim Sunni? Why, why, why you don't convert? Why you don't convert the Muslim Sunni if Shia is not uh, your thing? I, I was, I was, I was, that's what I'm trying to say. To oh, you, you were, you were that. a Muslim Sunni. You were a Muslim Sunni? Yeah, I became Sunni, and then I started... Go Every time I go in the mosque, everyone's depressed, bro. Like, mm. the old uncles are sitting there, everyone's angry. you got you got terrorist guys standing up saying, we should do, like... And the, the, the imam telling them, no, no, don't say this stuff. Like, you know, I don't even want to say the word and that. But they were saying they want to, you know, they want to do bad stuff. Like, it, it's it's a lot of anger, and there's, there's a lot of... It's like people are doing it for men. Like when I read in the Bible where Jesus says, don't fast in front of people. But my, my Muslim people, they make it a whole, uh, like, read about it, read about it. I'm fasting, I'm drama, fasting. Drama, of, uh, of showing off. 
drama showing off. Like, listen, like, <laughs> bro, I'm up and down, yeah? So what I'm saying to you is, I'm not saying I'm, I'm a smart person, but I, I do find myself intelligent. Like, I question things. I'm not someone, because I'm born into something and... You know, it's my culture, my family will disown me, all that stuff that I'm I'm not going to leave something. But what I'm saying to you is there's a lot of drama with the fasting. Right? Even my dad is telling me, yeah, I've been fasting. Like, don't, why are you telling me about it? Like, even when it's not Ramadan, like, when it's not Ramadan and he's fasting, he's telling me, oh, I haven't eaten. But I sit there and I speak to some of my Christian friends. They're like, yeah, we fasted for two, three days, you know, just water. And I'm like, what? Like, yeah, yeah, we've done a two, three day fast. Um, but because I was telling them about our fast, and they, and they said, Look, we don't really want to tell you about this, but only because we're trying to like convert you, we're trying to show you that, like, with the power of God, you can do that. And I said, I said to my dad, I said, Do you think you can go two days with just water? He goes, Never, he goes, I could never do that. So, and the thing is, even Ramadan, after when you break your fast, there's a feast, the whole table's full of food. There's, you're stuffing yourself, you're stuffing it. Then you wake up four or five in the morning, stuffing your face again. You see what I mean? But it's just so much things, man. There's anger. Like, I went into the mosque, yeah. I sat down with the imam, I was like, I was like, yeah, imam. Yeah, but, 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 yeah, you know what I'm saying? So when I speak to them, I'm telling them, okay, can you explain this to me? Because I sat there, uh, I've been listening to you for years, and David Wood and all these brothers, and I sat there, I was taking down the verse. I was like, these guys are liars, bro. These guys are lying. Let me take these verses down, take the verse down, go checking it, test three. Going the mom's like, it's better not to ask questions with these things. Like when you're telling me things like that, and just seeing the depression, like I used to wake up, bro, early, pray, do everything, like follow the sunnah, everything, bro. But I found no peace. But when I stopped praying, I felt like I had a bit of peace. You see what I'm saying? It's a controlling religion, bro. You know what? I'm not even going yeah, to lie. It's like you. A, you feel you're, you feel you're under pressure that you have obligation, and this obligation does not make any sense because, you know, I have to pray in a certain time, and this God is not going to wait for me unless I am on time, and then my yeah, prayer will uh, go in uh, will not be received. Now you hit the nail on the head there. You hit the nail on the head there. And not even just that, like my dad, if, he, if his foot touches the floor when he's doing wudu, he's going to go and do it all over again. Yeah. I'm sitting there thinking... Uh, and you know, oh, uh, uh, this is fasting, my friend, Ali, fasting, fasting uh, in Islam is not exist because you're just absent from f uh, eating for some time. Uh, and then, then you stuff yourself, as you say, like a, like a goat. So what is the fasting? Uh, we are just uh, switching the day to night and the night to day. We're just flipping yeah, yeah. the day and the night. We're not really yeah. fasting. Fasting is something different. So the Muslim actually in the month of Ramadan, they get they gain weight and they spend a fortune of money on food. And the price of food in the month of Ramadan goes skyrocketing all That's over true. the Middle East That's or Islamic truth. countries. Why? Because people are buying more food when it's supposedly mm -hmm. they should buy less. Mm. You know, like what if, 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 if market is about demand? If nobody buying, things you know will, what? become so cheap. Do you know what? Do you know what? What you're saying is right because my uncle owns a supermarket, a Middle Eastern supermarket, yeah. And he, when Ramadan comes, he has to get extra people in the shop. That's how much people. But I, I don't understand that. Why would you be selling more meat and more food? Yeah, because there is more eaters. People are eating more. Very simple. <laughs> it's just mad, bro. Like, obviously, look. I'm and you know, not only that, not only that. I mean, the Quran is a very silly book, you know. It says, uh, you know, like, uh, if I ask you, what is Ramadan, what you will say? It's a time to basically see no, how what, the, what, the uh, what, yeah. what is the word Ramadan mean? It means Ramadan, like, mm. as in, like, um, it's, it's ab abstaining and things like that. Mm. So Ramadan is simply supposedly is coming from the word Ramad, like you know being thirsty, etc. But if you go yeah. in the Quran, you will find that it says Shahru Ramadan. Do you know what Shahr means? Yeah, the month. Yeah, the month. Month. Shahr, no, Shahr does not mean month. This is false translation. Uh, uh. Shahr is a word mean moon, the moon of Ramadan. So, uh, but isn't that Kamar? Kamar. 
shahar is the same as a qamar yeah uh, yeah shahar, so shahar. in the translation because there are 40 people they say that the month of ramadan but in fact it says the moon of ramadan because this is a moon god religion that's that's why there's a moon and a star above every mosque bro yeah but here uh, and i've read i've researched yeah sorry go on, go on. not only the moon shahar present the crescent moon so this is why it says whoever of you witness witness what the crescent moon not the moth you cannot witness the moth i mean moth is not is a time you cannot see him you know uh, and it is actually it says in arabic sight if you change the translation you will see every muslim give you a different translation trying to cover up what the quran is saying so whoever yeah. of you whoever of you sight the moon sight mm. it you know which which moon the crescent moon you know so if we sight the crescent moon uh, we will here it says this is the muslim translation Muhsin, uh, muhammad uh, hilali and khan saying mm. <clears throat> so whoever of you sight between two brackets the crescent on the first night of the month that's false translation it should say mm. whoever of you sight the word shahar you know the word shahar which is the crescent moon so right. you cite yeah. it you cite it and then this is what the muslim do actually right they cite the moon and then this they start celebrating and then they stop uh, fasting at the end the same thing when they cite it again correct mm. yeah so they cite the, the the moon and the moon but what sighting, about the jews Sorry, CB. What about the Jews with the moon, Sabbaths, and all that? I've read that somewhere as well. No problem. I I, you know, the Jews they use okay. Moon. The Jews they use the lunar calendar, uh, but they yeah. don't. But they don't have uh, the. You know, the moon have nothing to do with it. It's just a calendar exists in the Middle East. You know, used by many. Would you agree, CP? Would you agree that the Arabs are the descendants of Ishmael? No. They're not. No, because you know, in the book of Genesis, the Bible says that uh, uh, the mother of Ishmael, she took her son and she married him from an Egyptian woman. So, Sarah, uh, Sarah, yeah. Uh, uh, so if the, if, uh, uh, if, uh, if the father is Abraham and he's an Aramaic and the mother, she's an Egyptian, and then she took her son and she married him to Egyptian wife, how the sons will be Arab? Yes, that would be Egyptians funny. were actually a people of color back then, weren't they? No, no, it's not about color. It's Egyptian. She's Egyptian. I don't know. Maybe she is not uh, dark skin. This is not an important for there, us. there was an Arabic Egyptians back then. There's no Arab. There's, there until now, there's no Arabic Egyptian. There's nothing. It's called Arabic. You cannot be Arab and Egyptian at the same time. But they're all migrated. They're all migrated. No they're problem. From, but from that, Islam, that will Islam, make you, that, my friend, I am in America right now. I call myself mm. an Arab American, right? I have mm. an American passport. I joined the USA Army. But doesn't yeah. mean... I am an American in yeah. the way American mean American is the only native American those are American the rest are immigrant mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. yeah the native like the Indian exactly the, the Indian American the those are the only really are the American so if I call now I have a citizenship but doesn't make me really I am the American they are the American I am an mm -hmm. I am a migrant they are the native who own the land so the same in Egypt but anyway as you see mm. Islam is a missed up religion and uh, uh, you know uh, uh, there is no point even from the Quran. Muhammad first he approved Ashura, and then suddenly he switched to Ramadan. When Muhammad he learned yeah, about he, something new, suddenly. No, you're right. You're right. Yeah. I know. I know. Listen, I've read it. I've read it. And I, you see, when you read, uh, this is a message to the Muslim brothers and sisters. Yeah. When your brain was so much, you can't see it. This is why when I hear that the you know that brother from Birmingham, the the black brother that called you. I forgot his name. The one you were speaking to yeah, earlier. Yeah. The one who have no yeah, answers. I'm telling you, he's got a sweetheart. He's a nice guy. Like, I'll be honest with you. He's trying. He's not rude. He's he's nice. You know, Akhil. But what I'm saying to you is like, he can't see it. He doesn't want to see it because there's a veil over his eyes. Do you understand, CP? Mm -hmm. So that's why he can't see what you're saying. And do you know what it is? One thing, yeah? That I'm just going to just put this out there. I'm not trying to attack you or anything. Don't ever see it like that because you, you're a man of knowledge and, you know, I respect that. But it's just sometimes when you call them donkey and potato and all that, what it does, it gives them 
it gives them fuel. Obviously, you're, you're not cursing them, but just just you saying that. It no, gives hold, them on. That... hold on, hold on, oh, sorry, hold on. I will, I will go with you. But so sorry. why why they will be upset if I'm using the language of the Quran? You tell me. Yeah. And, oh, now I know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah I've just realized. I, I realized that the other day you're basically using the words that Muhammad called people um against them to show them that it's and when they say it's wrong so yeah but your prophet used it yeah and no, i'll get that i'll get that muhammad get that. he used filthy language not only no, this no, no, and did, the quran did, did, says that. he's racist as well he's racist as well and the the quran make you know as, well. as an yeah, example yeah. the quran says uh, uh, according the christian and the jews chapter 69 62 verse number five the similarity yeah. the likeness of those who entrusted with the torah uh uh, is the same as those as an as an as a donkey who uh, yeah. carry a, a book you know so why they can call us a donkey and we cannot call them donkey so they don't yeah, understand the book here we go we asked them a question about the book but one thing cp cp one thing yeah trust me i'm not trying to tell you what to do you're you're much older than me you know i'm only i'm i'm 35 i'm a young brother you're not much older like that I'm, I'm 17 i'm 17. <laughs> No, honestly, I'm, I'm being I'm being serious with you. I'm 17. My mom is 16. Yeah, yeah, she is 16. Yeah, okay. 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 Yeah. So yeah, so what I'm saying is, I totally understand that. Yeah, but what it is, the Muslim people, they need to see it because, me personally, I'm on the fence now. Like Islam makes you scared to say that you're leaving it. It's there's a fear there. You see, there's a fear, right? Like, so what it is is me where I'm in the middle now and I'm doing all my research deep into the Bible deep in I've done I've done as much research in the Quran as I can I've done it I've read it all I've every verse that you or David would or any other Christian apologist done I've researched I've checked it and it's not it's not a lie obviously some of them make mistakes when they're bringing out the contradictions and that but in the majority wise there's a lot of evidence and you know what just saying that now i'm starting to see that from reading the bible where it makes sense the christian faith i wouldn't say trinity no disrespect to you but more obviously the yeah the triune god but not as in like three separate gods because you, you, you're basically agreeing with the oneness because you're not saying there's three gods. Because when we go to heaven, I'm not going to sit there and say, who am I worshipping? Oh, Father, I'm going to worship you. Oh, then, oh, let me go worship Jesus quickly, the Son of God. Oh, the Holy Spirit. No, no. Nah, bro. It's not going to work like that. There's going to be one God. It's, it's, I remember there's a verse I read in Revelation. It says there was no need for, for the moon or the sun. For the Father was the light and the Lamb was the lamp. So the lamp was the outside of the light and the light inside was the father. So when it, when it says that Jesus is the image of the invisible, I don't know where these verses yeah, are. Yeah, God, uh, you know, Jesus is the visible image of the invisible God. My friend, let, yeah. us, let, let, let us make it short. You see, you are worried about I'm going to worship who? There's only one God. There's no, no need to worry. And first, first of all, you need to grant yourself to go to heaven to worry about you will worship who and you will see who. So are, do we have even the ticket to go to heaven if we can use the word ticket? You know, when Muhammad, uh, you know, like in the other day, I said, uh, a Muslim, he says to me about the behavior. He said, you have to give an example of how you behave. So I said, OK, let us say I am 54 like your prophet and right. he uh, and he married six years old girl. Is that an example? So, you know, what? so, 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 so my friend, my friend, so let us worry about something really serious and then what God will do with me in the heaven and what I will see in heaven, I, I, I will be glad just to be there. And whatever no, I will see sense. there is going to be wonderful. No, 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 that makes sense. So who do I worship? If I'm a Christian now, who am you I will worship to? only one God, which is God, the Son, God, the Father, God, the Holy Spirit, one God. You know, three persons still is still one God. So this is your God. So, so when you pray, can you just give me an example? How do you pray? Like you're just saying, you um, just mentioned one word. The Bible says our Father, but you can you, you can use the word Jesus. Because I've seen Christians say, uh, "I pray to the Father in the name of Jesus Christ." The name it, of no the problem. Father, the still the same. Still, it's still the same. In the name of Jesus. Okay. What, what, oh, one thing that I need you to answer, and I know mm. you're going to know the answer to this. Yeah. Mm. You know Matthew twenty-eight, 
okay. 19, where it says, Go ye therefore, baptize in and teach them and baptize in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. But Father, Son and Holy Spirit is not a name. That's a title. Yeah. So when he said the name, but then in Acts, they, they, they the disciples use the name. I think it's Acts, Acts chapter 2, 32 or something like that, or 38. Uh, Peter says, repent every one of you and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. So they understood that the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit is Yah, Shua. That means Yah, that God is salvation. Salvation, salvation yeah. So, yeah so, so, so that proves that maybe the people that believe in the Trinity and the people that believe in the oneness, they believe in the same thing, but it's just different understandings. Well, they should not have different understanding because still they are denying the Son and the Father and the, the, the three person. It's all over, you know. And at the same time, when the when the Bible says in the name, that is in the authority. Like you know, when I come to you, I come. I'm coming. Who who sent me? I mean, who yeah. am I? Yeah. So in the yeah. name, it's mean that you are coming with Sorry, the authority. I'm just gonna put your last week. I'm just coming out of the car. One second, brother. All right. Well, I, I will. I will. Yeah, yeah. I will hang up on you soon, so I can take some callers if you don't mind. Yeah, take some calls. In it, take some calls. What I'm gonna say to you is. I'm doing my research. I'm gonna keep researching, but right. I'm looking what, at everything. what about you do this? What about you invite me some shakes to call me? It and won't you call sit and watch. CP, you know they're not gonna call you, man. I've told people I've don't call them people. Christian friends, don't tell them a Christian friends. Tell them uh, can you join us? There's a guy when I talk to him as a Christian, and just meet you you call and you you call them in Skype without seeing the Christian friends, and then after they are in the call, it's too late to run. You know what, CP? Mm. I'm gonna say it now. I've, I've left Islam. Yeah, right. It's, it's. I've left it already anyway. But okay. I just didn't want. To be Christian. I did. I didn't want. I wanted to research the Christian faith because I don't have no faith. I believe God uh, all my life. Right. I've, uh, that's it. I'm done with it. Yeah. I'm done with it. It's not the truth. I'm seeing darkness. I'm seeing evil. I'm seeing. Just like Sahel, they do magic, like even people in my family and all that, like they do magic on each other and they say it's, it's, it's like it's all right, like you can do it. It's like all these stupid things going on, so it's just stupid. But yeah, like I said, I'm gonna keep researching and that, and then I'll do my thing and see if I can reach out to the Lord and that, you know mm. what I mean? But yeah, and no, I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for all your right, time. Friend. Thank you. And, uh, and happy for yeah, you that you live Islam. Brother. And I will be happy to hear from you that you decide to become a Christian. God bless you, my brother. Take care. Bye-bye. Take care.